May you be snatched away from this place. You shall no more dare to deceive, persecute, and torment. As smoke is driven away, as wax melts before the fire, so shall you be driven away, unclean spirit. Silence! Now, answer true. Are you demon, man, or woman? Demon, your power over her mind is waning. Release her now! Release her before I am forced to destroy you! Remember! You are human! Remember! Tell us, before the demon regains control, your name. Tell us your name! Did you hear that, evil spirit? She knows herself. She is yours no longer. Now your past. Tell me something about your past. Your profession! Quick! Yes! She's beginning to remember. Sworn to protect the innocent from those who would do them harm. Inside you is a spirit who will destroy many unless you stop it. Do your duty one last time. Fight it! Remember who you are! Remember! Alright, this is the place. Just one thing before we get going. I want you to take point. You think you're ready? Well, maybe you earned it, maybe you haven't. Either way, I need you on this. I know this looks routine, just a bunch of goth kids getting high and causing trouble, but something doesn't smell right. And by that, I mean the uniform who called it in. According to dispatch, it was Franco Moreno. No. At least, I don't think so. Just do your job. Get statements, talk to Moreno about what happened. After that, we'll see if there's anything worth talking about. Well, after you, partner. Sorry, club's closed for now. You want in, you'll have to wait. Oh yeah? You got any proof of something? Gonna need that before I let you in. <sighs> it's your show, partner. Do what you... Looks legit. About time you guys showed up. The natives here are getting a bit restless. You want to talk to Mrs. Thoris? She's inside. I didn't see much. I was out here checking for fake IDs when that cop ran inside and saved the day. By the time I knew what was happening, it was over. Yeah. As in, he saved lives and stopped the bad guys. It was like Bruce Lee or something. Anyway, you can go in. Bruce Lee, huh? Whatever. Just do what you gotta do so we can reopen. And give that cop in there a raise, will you? He was a damn hero. Been standing here for an hour. You gonna fix- Come on, let us in! Are you ladies with the police? That's us. Good. I'm Alana Loris. I own this place. Officer Marino's in the back room, along with the three idiots who started this mess. Sure, I can tell you. It was something else. Anyway, here's what happened. These three kids pulled out knives. These long silver switchblade things. I swear to God, I thought it was going to be a bloodbath. But then... Then that Officer Marino stormed in. I swear, it was like something out of a Bruce Lee movie. Bruce Lee, huh? The guy outside said the same thing. Well, it's true. He fought them all. All three of them. Disarmed them and put them all in cuffs. Then he dragged them all to the back room. We don't frisk here, detective. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Those kids, they're regulars here. They come here and get wild, but they're good kids. They always are. I can't imagine why they'd do something like this. 
Anyway, they're in the VIP room back there. I guess in the statement from all of them. I'll be here if you need me. Hey, you good to fly solo? I want to talk to the owner for a bit longer. Thanks. When this is done, first round's on me. Look, I know I'm being a bit unorthodox, but trust me, okay? You're doing great. Ma'am? Well, sure thing, Detective. I was doing my rounds, I was just passing by, and I heard screams from inside. I ran in, I found these three armed with knives and prepared to attack innocent civilians. So I disarmed them and cuffed them. Yeah, all by myself. Ask around, get everyone's statements, they'll back me up. I don't know what came over me. I don't do stuff like this. But that cop stopped us. It was, it was like a Bruce Lee movie. It was like... something out of a Bruce Lee movie. Wait, who's Bruce Lee? We couldn't fight him. He was... like Bruce Lee or something. Hey, was I interrupting anything? Yeah, suspects. So, Marino... You got a pretty good caller here. Three of them, in fact. Thank you, ma'am. I'm just curious about one thing. These three are all restrained. Police issue cuffs, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Funny thing. The standard officer's kit only has two pairs of handcuffs. So, I just gotta know. Where'd the third pair come from? Is that what happened, Franco? You just brought an extra? Yeah, I, uh, took an extra. That was lucky. You didn't need three cuffs when you took down that mugger yesterday. Just the one. Or, what about those two deli robbers the day before that? You only needed two cuffs then. But today, you take down three bad guys, and you just happen to have three pairs of cuffs. Nothing, I'm just doing my job. Your job? Right. All the suspects in all those crimes, they all had perfect records before you arrested them. And speaking of records, what about yours? You've had an unremarkable career up until this week. Care to explain this sudden shift in direction? I've... I've been reading. Reading? What, like, self-help or something? Or something. I did a great job here, Detective Santina. It was like something out of a Bruce Lee movie. You should recommend me for a promotion. Yeah, yeah, good job, Marino. Never knew you were such a badass. I'll... I'll just go call this in. What does it look like? For ten years I've been the bottom of the totem pole, the butt of everyone's jokes. I tried to get ahead, really, I tried. But nobody ever gave me a damn chance. It was the only way. Here, let me show you. Fuck. Okay, okay. Look, I'll kick it over to you. Just put the gun down. Take it. Just take it. I don't even know what I'm doing with that thing. Look, I, I have no choice, you understand? I've been stuck in this uniform for ten years. Ten years! I can't take it anymore! Then I found that book... Well, what would you do? Fuck! What the hell? Damn it, do something! She's totally dazed. She's not saying a word. What the hell is going on? What about the kids? Are the kids okay? Your chosen vessel remembers. You are no longer welcome, wicked spirit. The hands you control will no longer do your bidding. In the name of myself, my witness, and the soul whom you hold captive, 
I cast you out! Gotcha! Eli! Stand back! Jeez, Mandy, put that sword away. The spirit is gone. That lady's harmless. See? She doesn't even remember how she got here. Looks like her memory got scrambled during the exorcism. Scrambled? What? It happens. I apologize for the threat. It has been a long night. Please, come with us, and we will explain everything. Thank you. Gratitude, at least. This way, please. Look, she's a... We've had a rough night. Go easy on us, okay? Just come on downstairs. When you're ready, we'll explain everything. We're the good guys. Honest. Do take your time. Soak it all in. So, how is that memory of yours? Anything spring to mind? Your answer is within your question. Hell indeed happened here. These innocents, innocents of the city who I have sworn to protect, were destroyed by your hands. I'm afraid you could, and, uh, you did. You were possessed by some kind of demon. It made you do things. You do not remember? One year ago, you slaughtered those police officers and those teenagers. No dream, but it was a nightmare for some. The story was top news for weeks. Every district in the city was searching for you. As were we, and it is fortunate that we found you first. These people on the floor, torn apart using your bare hands. The rain washed away most of the blood from your hands, but it will always be there, whether you can see it or not. No, you can't do that. He is correct. Punishing yourself is not the answer, and would expose us. If you want to see justice done, help make it right. Listen to me. These feelings you've got right now, the guilt, the anger, hold on to that. It means you're human. You'll need that going forward. Speaking of going... Yeah, we need to scoot. Did you put up a veil, Mondana? I did, and it will confuse the police long enough for us to get away, but we should not tarry. Fresh air at last. A padlock. Of course. Can you pry it off? I am tired, Eli. My strength ebbed hours ago. Perhaps she can help us. Could you find something to pry this off? Yeah, anything big or heavy should do. You've got to be kidding me. This place, much has changed. Preacher, who are you and what is your purpose here? Purpose? You invited me. You're mistaken. I was summoned across the void by you. I say again, you are mistaken. You know I speak the truth. I know what you are, Jin Child. I know you cannot speak false. Nevertheless, a beacon appeared. A path was formed. I merely followed it. Nobody here has done such a thing. Um, that might not be entirely true. Eli? 
probably enough to call the attention of, well, something like this. Neophyte mage. Playing with forces you don't understand. I'm mage enough to burn you into a greasy smudge. You lie. <laughs> That was... creatively done. Um, yeah. Nice work. That is very... altruistic of you. Don't sound so shocked. I'm not shocked. Merely... pleased. <sighs> Such... agony. What manner of pain is this? We have it at our mercy. Tell us, creature. Why do you deserve to live? I... That stench... It can't be. You... A demon spawn? On this plane? You are no different from the rest of your kind. No time for parley. Direct to the slaughter. Why do you come here to torment me? There is no demon. I got rid of it. You are a fool. The corruption lingers. Creature, you are at our mercy. Return home through the void at once. You know I cannot. I used all my energy to get here. I will not survive the return journey without food. I must feed on human flesh. In this world, nothing else will sustain me. What? That's... Ugh. Does the demon spawn speak true? There is meat inside this building? Yes. Yes, there is. Slaughtered only hours ago. Fresh meat. That is perfect. Let me consume my fill, and I will leave you in peace. I... I do not think I can do that. It would draw too much attention. The police are bound to notice. Not to mention the victims inside are innocent. They have families. Loved ones. They'll want closure. I am innocent too, Mageling. You summoned me. I merely answered. Would you kill me just for that? It speaks true, Eli. What is your decision? Wait, you're putting this on me? Yes. I... I'm not the one that has to cut that thing's throat. I can't decide that for you. Yes. It is the most... practical solution. Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. Rise, creature. Eat your fill and be gone. Are you finished? Please, please, please be finished? Yes. I believe I can make the return journey and survive. Thanks be to you, Jin Child, Mage, Demon Spawn. I shan't trouble you again. It is done. It is over. Thank God. Let's get out of here. All in all, this was eventful. Yeah, eventful. We did fine work this night. We all did. Agreed. You showed immense fortitude. Especially for one in your... situation. You want to tell her, or should I? One year has passed since your possession. You were wanted by the police for many violent crimes. Yeah, I'm sorry, but your days as a cop are over. Indeed. Although you can serve in another way. The demon that infested you? That creature we just defeated? Mere taste of what is out there. And they just keep coming. We need manpower. Look, you saw us in action tonight. It's obvious we need all the help we could get. Just as it is obvious your old life is gone. But we can help. We can give you a new identity. A new life. A new purpose. Normally there's a vetting process, but you more than proved yourself tonight. So, what say you? Will you join us? Thank God. Some new blood at last. Uh, sorry. That sounded much less creepy in my head. 
We are all tired. We can find suitable sleeping arrangements back at our headquarters. Sleeping sounds great. By the way, my name's Eli. This is Mundana. Welcome to the Unavowed, my friend. Trust me, your life will never be the same. Please do not disturb those. It took centuries to arrange them just the way I like them. You are awake. Did you sleep well? This astonishes you. After all you experienced. I suppose I should have seen this coming. Introduction to the supernatural world can often have unpredictable effects on the mundane mind. It may take some time for you to process it all. Well, Miss Unpredictable, you certainly surprised us last night. I think you are going to make this transition just fine. And this is good, because there is so little time to waste. My father Kalash is waiting to speak to you in the room beyond the red drapes. When you are ready, seek him out. In the meantime, relax and explore the facility. I will be here if you have any questions. Hey! Don't surprise a fire mage like that. <laughs> Bad idea. Anyway, hi. You settling in okay? You noticed? Yeah, I like to do this in my spare time. Keeps me sharp. But seriously, it took me a while to get used to this stuff. It's not gonna happen for you overnight, but you'll get there, faster than you think. Anyway, I'm sure you want to walk around. I'll be here if you have any questions. I don't see why not. Right, see you around. the new one, aren't you? Nobody joins the unavowed girl. We serve it. We are the wall against the darkness. As for me, I am Kalash. I am a jinn of the ancient kingdom, and I run this branch of the unavowed. And you? You were possessed. How'd you let that happen? Sloppy. Sloppy. Such a thing would have been unthinkable once. In my day, even a newborn babe had wits enough to leave books of demonic evil alone. Mundanes today don't know they're born. The world has gotten soft, needs toughening up. How tough are you, new girl? I've read your service record. Adequate. But not exemplary. No, no. You have yet to experience your true crucible, but it will come. Oh yes, it will come. At any rate, we have much to discuss and much to do. Settle in. Talk to the others. Get the lay of the land. I will call our meeting when you are ready. Hmm? What is it? You ready to start the meeting? Indeed. The time for waiting is past. Father, you met our latest recruit? Yes. I admit she doesn't look like much, but we'll see what this life makes of her. We were all neophytes once, Kalash. Most of us, Mage Beckett. Most of us. I am aware of that. I have read the reports on your last mission. Mage Beckett. Is it true you summoned a Void creature? Yes, by accident. I swear. Irrelevant. Magic is unpredictable. I understand this. 
What I don't understand is why you let it feed on human corpses. What will the mundane authorities think when they find tooth marks on the victims, hmm? The creature was both a danger and an innocent. We reached a compromise. That is all. We'll be the ones compromised if the two of you aren't more careful. Father, regardless of our choices, the Void Creature is gone. We have a more pressing concern. Yes, you let the demon escape. Your mission was a failure. Well, if nobody's gonna speak up, I will. It was my fault. I was so close. I had it contained, but it was stronger than I expected. I see. This is becoming distressingly commonplace. Nevertheless, Eli speaks the truth. We underestimated the threat. Then that will have to be sufficient. And now to the next item at hand. Your next mission. You are correct. In more ways than you can imagine. I have detected void activity in the East Village, somewhere close to Aster Place. You are to travel there, determine the cause of the disturbance, and neutralize it. Are you sure she's ready to go out into the field so soon? These are dangerous times. Dark forces are coming. We don't have the time for traditional training. If she isn't able to handle it immediately, we might as well kill her now. Trial by fire, sink or swim, do or die. You want to prove yourself to the unavowed, new girl? Now is your chance. Meeting adjourned. Well, I guess that settles that. Yes, as soon as possible. <sighs> and I really hoped I could take the day off. Anyway, we're ready when you are. Looks like the K-Train is down. Again. Hmm. Still raining. At least nothing's here waiting to kill us. You seem troubled. Is something the matter? So there is, but you have nothing to fear from him, not with the veil in place. Yeah, it became active when you signed up with us. It just disguises your identity. Anyone looking at you sees slightly different features. You are not the first new recruit to arrive with complications in the mundane world. The veil prevents awkwardness all around. Just think of it as a perk of membership. In a sense, the veil only works on mundanes. Supernatural beings and the Void Touch can see through it easily. But that law enforcement officer? He will pose no threat. No, there's nothing else. Let us continue, shall we? Evening, man. Who wants to know? Hmm. Maybe you are, maybe you won't. It's been in the news, but I don't blame you if you don't read that stuff. I'll tell you one thing. You see a lot of bad people in this line of work, but it takes a special kind of nasty to torch a homeless shelter. I don't blame you. See ya. Hey, are you alright? You look a little... taking me I'll do whatever you want just help me please did you see that I did neuromorphic projection I've read the theories but never thought I think she's coming out of it are you all right yes you did we saw it too. A vision from your past. Well, your demon's past, technically. 
this area must have kick-started your brain into remembering. There was some psychic spillover. We could see it too. Sorry, for what it's worth, I feel completely fine. As do I. See? Bright side. This building the demon entered. It used to house the village I. The newspaper? Didn't it go out of business a few years ago? Indeed it did. What was your demon self doing here? We are on the trail of a demon. I think you can endure the occasional headache. Right. Enough jabber. Let's go. <sighs> well, that just figures, doesn't it? It is done. Be aware that if law enforcement questions me, I am compelled to tell the truth. <clears throat> it smells very... human in here. Looks like people were squatting here. Half a dozen at least. Huh. Only one bed in here. Yes. This room was designated to separate one individual from the rest. What have you got there? An old fuse? Seems to still be intact. I might not know a lot about those things, but don't they need electricity to work? I don't think the pa Do not be alarmed. That was just a lost spirit. What you would call a ghost. They are harmless. Good. You adjust quickly. Death is part of the mundane world. We do not get involved. Let us move forward. Ow! God damn it. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. I tripped over. I have no idea. Can't see a damn thing. That's weird. Come on! Is there a problem? The darkness sits fighting the light. It always does. I'm being literal. Whatever's down here, it's interfering with my magic. Um, not sure what you want me to do. Smacked. It's a forest. A forest in a basement. Well, that explains why my fire's so weak down here. Probably a natural defense mechanism for whatever this is. Well, this just got a lot more complicated. Male. Early to mid-sixties, I believe. The cause of death is difficult to determine. He's got vines growing out of him. If it was, I do not believe it is contagious. Your vision. You were familiar with this building. Whatever happened here, you were involved. Or at least your demon self was. You don't remember anything. No other visions spring to mind. Don't apologize. It's not your fault. No doubt your demon covered its tracks well before leaving your mind. So, who is he? He has no distinguishing marks. He carries no identification. Whoever this is, it remains a mystery. It is a lost spirit. It cannot communicate. Are you sure about that? It does appear... Agitated. Let us leave it be.
Do these drawings on the wall mean anything to you, Mandana? I cannot decipher their meaning, but I do get a sense of reverence. Reverence? Like worship? Where... where did you get that? Village I... I don't know what you're talking about. That is an obvious lie. Do I look like I care? Just leave me alone. I might not look it, but I'm fine. Tell everyone that Wendy is fine. You don't need to come out here and... Wait, it's you, isn't it? You've come back. Oh, no, you don't. You almost fooled me, but I can tell. You're the master. Don't know why you sound so surprised. You've done something to your face. You've changed it somehow, but I can tell. It's you. Curious. She can see past the veil. She must be void-touched. What touched? Void-touched. It means... I don't give a crap what it means. And I don't give a crap about you either, Master. Just leave me alone. I already know you're good at that. Please, don't come back. Just so we are clear, we are not calling you Master. This wall drawing means nothing to me, Eli. Blood rituals used for healing. That is perverse and wrong. It may be wrong, but it does explain the forest downstairs. It's unspent life energy. It created excess life. Beauty can hide all manner of evil, Eli. You know this more than anyone. We told you before, don't blame yourself. Pity yourself later if you must. For now, you must focus. If I understand that journal right, the ritual stopped working when the, uh, <clears throat> Master left. Which means that only you, or rather your demon, could perform it. Then why leave Jordan in charge? That's a good question. One more reason to track it down. In the meantime, I really want to know more about this ritual. After you? I should have tossed that computer. Oh, the cat's out of the bag now. You proud of yourself, master? You mean, did you teach us all how to do those blood rituals? Yes. You took us all in. You saved us, I guess. Maybe. Every month you'd do the ritual. You'd cut one of us. We'd bleed on the altar. Then you'd say those words, and we'd heal. Better, stronger faster than before. It was like a drug. Life energy. That's what you were being fed. That explains the wildlife in the basement. It must be residual life magic. Whatever it was, it felt good. It all ended is what happened. Jordan was so happy when you put him in charge. 
He tried. He really did. But he just got too sick. Whatever you did to us, the healing, it stopped working when you left. So he put me in charge. Me. And I just made things worse. I failed everyone. I was supposed to help them, but instead I... I cut with the knife. I said those stupid words again and again and again. It didn't work, so I had to try harder. The murdered man in the basement. You took the blood ritual too far. It was an accident, I swear. No, it didn't work. Would I be out here in the rain if it did? I put him on the altar. I took the knife and I... I killed him. By accident. I must have been nervous. Look, we were dying. All of us. A few splashes of blood on the altar wasn't doing the job anymore. So I thought... You thought you would kill an innocent man. It wasn't like that. He was almost dead anyway. He had a few days to live at most. So we thought... Yeah, we killed him. I killed him. I thought that was the end of it, but then... His spirit, it came back. It was horrible. We couldn't stay. Every time it saw us, it would scream. I came here. I didn't want to be around people anymore. You speak the truth. You believe me. Hooray. It is not a matter of belief. I simply know what truth is. Thank you for sharing it with us. There's no point in lying anymore, is there? The master here was just as much involved as me. Something tells me you are going to turn hard. You think I'm an idiot? I tossed it down a storm drain. What? Why did you do that? What do you think? It's probably halfway to Jersey by now, and good riddance. Terrible palsy on my left side. It was bad before. I could barely handle sewer duty. It's much worse now. You seriously don't remember? The pipes in the building leaked. Overflow from the sewer. It was disgusting. You couldn't exactly call a plumber, so you made us go into the sewer and drain it from there. I went down there so much, Jordan had to swipe the key to the control panel. You serious? You never wanted to bother with that before. But whatever. It's to the right of the control panel, behind one of the pipes. If I was lucky, I never would have met you in the first place. <laughs> she threw the knife down a storm drain. Damn it. I can't blame her, but damn it. Magically imbued tools take weeks to make. I really hope to study it. Are you trying to lift the manhole cover with your bare hands? You never know. Maybe the demon gave her super strength. I guess not. Are you lifting with your knees? Yes. Bracing. Fortuitous that I have kept up my training. At least the rain is washing away most of the smell. If not the heat, I am positive. Eli Beckett. Mage, accountant, and plumber. And sometimes all three. Huh. Looks like Wendy was right.
Look at me! This is what happened! Do you remember, Master, how you found me? Frozen half to death on the street? I almost died. You saved me. You healed me. Brought me back from certain death. That was no demon. It was you. You were so kind. You showed me how to heal. We were going to heal the entire city. But I couldn't do it without you. When you left, the power left too. Shield. The cold, it came back. I couldn't stop it. It just got worse and worse. I couldn't heal myself, let alone anyone else, so I left. I had to find something, anything, that could help me get warm again. It's not your fault, Master. Don't blame yourself. You warned me about that spell. I didn't listen. But I was so desperate. I was freezing to death. The bed in that homeless shelter wasn't warm enough. You taught me a spell that would let warmth into my heart. So I spoke it. Then this happened. Look at me. Of course I know what I did. I'm on fire forever. No, you misunderstand. The shelter, it burned to the ground. Was... was anyone hurt? Do you really think I can be helped? I don't deserve it. I know I don't, but if there's any chance... Help me before I hurt anyone else. Anything you want. The knife? You mean your knife? Yes. I saw it fall down here. I took it. I hid it. Just in case you ever came back. Could you get it for us? I'd love to study it. I suppose. After you help me? I've been trying, but the fire, it's different. It's self-generating, self-sustaining. Even submerging himself in water couldn't snuff him out. I've never seen anything like it. I need to know more about his condition before I can even attempt a cure. Master, this is all too much! I served you, faithfully, and you left when I needed you the most! How do I know you won't leave again? Cure me? Help me? Do that and I will get the knife for you gladly! Thank you, Master! Poor guy. Evening, ma'am. Um, no. In case it wasn't clear, this is a crime scene, which means stay back. Oh, really? Give me one reason. So you are. You're with the Staten Island Precinct? What brings you out here? Look, Staten Island, I need to follow procedure. Are you here to inspect the scene or what? All right, if you say so. The site's all yours, man. Interesting. That officer believed in your authority without question. She was a cop. It's in her voice, her stance. You can't exactly fake that. That is not in dispute. You certainly have a gift for command. We will discuss this later. Let us find what we came for. Ah! Is something the matter? Freezing. There's something in there. Something that's generating a lot of cold. A self-generating thermal whirlpool spell, maybe. I've read about those. So you believe this is magic-related? Our... Come on, melt! Is everything all right? Everything's fine. It's just something inside is fighting back. There! 
Nicely done. That's me, Eli Beckett, enemy of ice. Well, that's definitely our cold source, all right. Hmm. Now that it's out of the open air, the warm rain is coming down. I should be able to... Jesus! Look at that. Not a burn mark on him. The ice protected him from the fire? It also froze him to death, but if you want to get technical, sure. It protected him from the fire. Uh, maybe. It's hard to tell, you know, with all the frostbite and things. I admit, he does look slightly recognizable, but as to whom, I cannot say. Yes, I'm as surprised as you are. The quality of that photo isn't so great, but it's definitely the same guy. The evidence is undeniable. Jordan sought a way to remove the cold invading his body. It appears he... failed. No, we would not have been able to converse with it if so. We spoke to Jordan, not a lost spirit. At least, not one in the traditional sense. His soul transmuted escaped his body and became something else. He is alive, just no longer human. He's become a fire elemental, a spirit bound to a body of flame. He was a desperate, dying man. Those in such a position rarely consider consequences. Regardless, we cannot allow a fire elemental to run loose in the city sewers. Thoughts? I have plenty of thoughts. None of them nice. Let me mull them over for a bit, okay? We should hear Jordan out before deciding anything, anyway. Hope you found everything you needed, ma'am. Eli, you are scratching the buttons of your coat again, with your fingernail. I am. Master? You did? What did you find? I... what? I'm dead? No, uh, not exactly. You're a fire elemental now. You're alive, you're just in a new body. A body made of flame. That's why the flames are self-sustaining. You aren't on fire, you are fire. So, there's no cure? Oh, um, no. Your human body is dead. There's no getting around that. But you're kind of immortal now. That's something, isn't it? You mean I have to live like this forever? Um, yeah. You should have left me in the cold, Master. You should have left me to die. Thank you, Master. Look, we do have one option. I'm a fire mage. I can control and channel fire. Given enough time, I can remove the fire from your spirit. Eli, what you're proposing... Will be incredibly painful, I know. Painful? It will feel like being skinned alive. But it will kill me? Eventually. Then I'll do it. Do not be sorry yet. I will not allow you to do this. Not when there is another way. Another way? There are others of your kind. Fire elementals. A whole world of them. Yeah, in another dimension, across the void. How do you propose to get him there? Jordan is a creature of spirit now, which means he can traverse the void. I can lend him the energy required and show him how to open the way. So he can, what, spend eternity with fire people? Wait, eternity? It is a one-way trip, Jordan. Life there will not be easy, but perhaps you can find a home there, a life. But what kind of life would that be? 
one that continues. Yes! Yes! Master! You were right! Maybe this is what was meant to be! Maybe you saved me that night for this very reason! Maybe I have some purpose to fulfill in this new dimension! Okay! I am ready! You two should wait above ground. I will help him transfer across the void. I guess he's on his way by now. Off to his new life. Assuming you can call it life. You think we did the right thing? Hmm. You're honest at least. I'll give you that. But to live through eternity without seeing another human being? I couldn't take it. I know that much. I've seen pictures of fire dimensions. They look like hell. Literally. I know what I am. I'm not entirely normal. But I know that I'm human. I know that I'm me. If I lose that, then I lose everything. So, is he... Yes, he has gone through the void. I believe he will be. Eventually. Only time will tell. He did retrieve the ritual knife for me before he left. Well, that's something. I'll study it back at the lab. I know the routine. I shall call ahead and have pizza delivered. It's like you read my mind. Good. You are awake. I was hoping to talk to you. Yes. And... You have completed your first field mission. You must have... Thoughts. I am curious as to what they are. What are you feeling at the moment? Yes. Our work is important. Of that there is no doubt. For some of us the unavowed is a calling. For others, a duty. But for you... I have seen you in action. I have seen you react under pressure. You were clearly meant for this life. Do you? Do you really? Your old life, your time as a police officer, prepared you for this. It gave you discipline, authority. The unavowed has become... lax in the recent decades. Perhaps you can help us with that. I presume too much. I apologize. At any rate, I detect no falsehood within you. You spoke the truth to me. Thank you. I will return to my training now. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I was just reading some old texts with Firesight. Something like that. It's a fire magic trick. Let's me read any book that was consumed by flame. It's a bit of a strain on the eyes, but beggars can't be choosers. I wouldn't recommend it. Not unless you want your eyes to melt. Just as well, this book isn't telling me anything. It's an old Sumerian text about death magic. Really long, really boring. But I used to read books about S-Corp tax code for fun back when I was an accountant. I can handle boring. Ah well, see you at the meeting. Until then. To send you aid would leave our own domains undefended. You know this, Kalash. Undefended against what? Ours is the only domain under attack. Your charter is quite clear. Recruitment is your responsibility. You accuse me of negligence. Just how many agents are currently in your employ? That is precisely the point. We have no agents to spare. I am sorry, Kalash. So am I, Aralax. New York is getting overwhelmed. When that happens, they will come for you. Then we must be ready when it comes. Aralax, out. Major Hanum swallow you whole. Ah, you heard that, did you? A word of advice. Never tell a falsehood to a djinn. We can recognize truth, and that was not 
Regardless, you didn't hear anything you did not already know. It is no secret the threats have been escalating. I had hoped to appeal for aid and fill up our ranks. Alas, we are on our own. I respect Lady Aralax, but I should have known better. Never ask a dragon for anything. You will always regret it. Mm hmm? Yes, duty calls. I have appealed once more for aid. It has been rejected. Huh, this is my surprised face. Why do you bother with those cowards, Father? Show some respect. They are correct. Stubborn, but correct. Only to a degree. The rules are clear. Each branch is responsible for its own defense and recruitment. In this respect, I have been negligent. So have all the branches, Father. A sudden rise in threats would have caught any city unprepared. And where that city? Lucky us. I shall appeal again, rest assured. In the meantime, let us go over last night's events. You seem fine to me. As for the others... Daughter, I trust you have recuperated from your ordeal with the Fire Elemental. I have. There do not appear to be any other... ill effects. So you aren't entirely positive? I took all the necessary precautions, but one is never entirely positive. Then I will have to accept that. However, I am deeply concerned that this mundane was able to acquire such a powerful spell in the first place. Yes, but why? Why would a demon do such a thing? Why do demons do anything? To create havoc, obviously. Why else? No, this was too focused, too targeted. We are not dealing with a mindless spirit bent on chaos and destruction. This demon had a plan, a purpose. We need to learn what it was. Funny you should say that. Ah, I know that book. You did as I asked, Mage Beckett? Yes, I did, sir. And it worked. Well, working. It's not quite done yet. What are you referring to? Oh, the ritual knife. I did a thaumaturgic scan on it. Hold on, I'm getting to that. The knife was imbued with a very specific energy signature. Your demon's energy, to be precise. It's connected to you, and you alone. That's why you were the only one who could use it properly. Which means, we can track it. Um, no. Not exactly. The demon's out of your body now. Its energy signature has changed. I can only track where it's been when it was in your body. It was busy, I'll say that much. It was all over the map. I'm trying to narrow it down to the areas of greatest activity, but it's slow going. So far, the scan's got you pegged in two places. The Bronx, around Gun Hill Station, and Staten Island, by the ferry terminal. It's a tactic that's worked well for us so far. Very well. Check both areas for void activity, and any sign of the demon. We'll show those idiots on the council what New York is made of. Meeting adjourned. I have not been to this area since the 70s. It was a dangerous place to... And that's really it. I'm screwed. And this is... kind of... weird. Why am I telling you all this? You know what? You're right. Nobody ever asks how I feel. Nobody. I just... don't know what to do. I knew that room at the Eddings house was too good to be true. I knew it! Hey, I'm all about proactive. You don't keep a GPA like mine without being proactive. What do you suggest? Maybe we should bring a pillow along next time. Hush. She is waking up. You sure? Because these are new shoes. You 
doesn't seem okay. I suggest cautious optimism. What did the woman in the vision say? We have achieved more with much less. Let's get moving then. Evening, folks. Now, why would you be asking about that? That's one beat up badge you got there. I don't know what kind of case you're working, but if it's linked to the Eddings place, I don't want to know. Head west from here, turn right on Morgan. It's the last house on the left. Sure, you be careful. Cute place. Pretty typical. These things go. Judging by that officer's reaction... Well, that is curious. Well, a talking house. Don't be absurd. Understood. This should not pose a difficulty. Bullseye! It was two inches left of center, but close enough. <sighs> Let me... There you are. I heard you talking. Someone in there? Perhaps we should enter and see for ourselves. The time for games is over. Identify yourself. Really? You don't act like any ghost I've ever seen. A spirit guide? You mean you're bound to a spirit medium? One close by? Goes there. Mandy, it's just a plastic hula dancer. Yes, of course it is. Apologies. I am on edge. There is a dark energy here that makes me uneasy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change.
courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know them. Huh? Are you real? Or am I just hallucinating from hunger? Well, that's the question, isn't it? I've been here three days, I think. Didn't think anyone would come. Well, we're here. I'm Eli Beckett, by the way. This is Mondana. I'm Logan Brown. I could really use your help. You know about that? We can see the ghosts behind you. Hold on. You... you can see them? Like, actually see them? Well, sure. Kind of. Ghosts all look the same, don't they? Just what do you mean? I see people. Two women, one man. They're confused and angry. Not exactly easy to talk to. Let me see if I understand. You can see these spirits, and you can talk to them. Yeah. I see. You are the one KK told us about. The Bestower. Yeah, uh, that's me. You know your stuff. You're here to help these ghosts pass on. That's right. Only things went a bit wrong. Crap. Easy. Easy now. Shh. Just relax. Okay. Just calm. For now. I kind of need to focus. Can you help me or what? I need to know their names. It's the best way to get through to them. Can you do that? Figure out their names? I've tried. They won't listen to me, which is why I need their names. I'm sure there are clues and things around the house. I'd go myself, but I'm kind of trapped. Thanks. Seriously. looks to be full of ashes. From the consistency, it looks like notebook paper. Or at least it was. What's up? Sure, but maybe we should move outside first. Playing with fire magic indoors is a bad idea. Right with you. up umbrella What's up? Don't see why not. What do you have in mind? Sure, just a sec. Eli, I have been... Sure? Let's try it. Are those your names? Art? Jess? Dana? Art? Jess? Dana? The ghosts! They're... No, no! Please, there's no need for this. Art, Dana, Jess, just 
Relax, fellas. Please, relax. That was close. Close? Close? Those ghosts went geist. Geist? Poltergeist! It's what you get when ghosts go bad. Like, really, really bad. But I've only read about them in books. It doesn't actually happen. At least, it shouldn't. Not anymore. Well, it happens now. These ghosts attacked us. They tried to tear KK apart. We barely got the circle up in time. You need to tell us what's going on. Fine. I think I've got things under control. If you have questions, ask them now. Believe me, I'm not going anywhere. What's the story? Like I said, we came here to put these ghosts to rest. Usually it doesn't take much. We talked to them a bit, but these three, they got violent. Ugly. They went after KK. Tried to rip her to shreds. Poor kid was terrified. Kid? She's ten years old. Jesus, is she okay? Last time I saw her, yeah. We got this circle up. We calmed them down long enough for her to escape. We've been separated ever since. If she comes in here, the ghosts attack her. I leave the circle, the ghosts attack me. So, you see my dilemma here. You couldn't call anyone? All the spiritual energy screws up my phone. But even still, I couldn't bring anyone else in here. Too dangerous. I don't know. With other ghosts, KK does most of the talking. Ghosts relate to her more, being a ghost herself. But I'm on my own this time. These three won't listen to me. They're just so angry. So I hope you guys have some ideas. Because I'm out. Well, like I said, geists don't just appear. Something happened. Something related to their deaths. If we can figure that out, maybe we can help them. So we investigate. It's our specialty. Believe me, I'm not going anywhere. I... I've never done this before. Nothing like this before. I mean, I love my wife, I do, but... No, I... I want this too. I've been unsure of many things, but not this. Why is that? Yes, that's exactly it. And after tonight, you'll be gone, but I'll keep a memento. Just like you asked. I have a hiding space in the garage. Nobody will ever find it. Under my heart rate. It will be for me and me alone. And you, if you ever come back. Just look in the mailbox. The garage opener is hidden in there. Taped to the inside where it's hard to see. Now, where were we? That's... Well... Yeah. I... You didn't do anything. Remember that. What your demon did here was no accident. It had a reason. A plan. We need to learn what it was. Lip sealed. Let's go. Everything, Dana. That's crazy. You're crazy. I wouldn't do that. This lady told me everything. What lady? You. But why? You're the one who told me to do it. Why are you lying? You gave me instructions. A list of things to buy. So you admit it. You poisoned my dog. You know what? Fine, yes. I killed your fucking dog. It was destroying my GPA. My sleep. Not to mention Arabelle. Is that what this is about? Your little rag doll? You promised to fix her months ago. She's been in your closet ever since. Just collecting dust. So kick me out. Call the cops. I don't care anymore. I'm done. Yes, Dana. 
You deserve to die for this. What? You killed my friend. It was just a dog. Get a grip. You killed my friend. Murder by mental suggestion. A classic demon ploy if there ever was one. Even so, a murder should not create a poltergeist. More investigation is needed. Let's get back to it then. Huh. Tape to the side of a mailbox. Clever. Would never have seen it if we didn't know it was there. You sure there are batteries in that thing? What are you trying to do? Is something wrong? Oh! It is tastefully done, at the very least. Madonna, really? It is the truth. I don't think that's a good idea. This photo was hidden here for a reason. It could still prove useful. Did you really think I wouldn't find out? Don't turn this around on me. You killed Dana. Turn it around? You slept with that woman. You're a part of this. This is all your fault. Her fault? Yes, I had an affair. I'm sorry, but you murdered Dana. She deserved it. She killed my Mary Jane. Jesus, are you even listening to yourself? Oh, so you can love your precious car, but loving my dog is crazy? No, murder is what's crazy. You're right. You are so right. Hey, she seduced me. You didn't have to say yes. I don't want to do this, Jess. Well, too fucking bad. The story grows grimmer with each telling. Oh good. There's a collar. Just grab that, will ya? When we return home, I recommend you bathe. Immediately. I killed my wife. I cheated on her, and then I killed her. She was so angry, and she did kill before. I'm confused. So confused. I'm going to go sit in my car for a bit, try and think. Maybe I'll run the motor a little, check if it's running okay. Could you? Make sure the garage doors close. Some clothes, a beat up doll, a ripped up umbrella. Guess it can't hurt to grab it. Whoa! Uh, 
Why are you showing this to me? Wait, is that art? Yeah, yeah, this is proof, all right. But who's the woman in the picture? She's kind of hard to make out. Right, leaving it there. Art, did you take this picture? I'm sorry, Art, but this is you. You can't deny it. Don't ask me why you did it. That's a question only you can answer. Good. Acceptance. That's the only way forward. I get you weren't in your right mind, but it still happened. It still matters. I don't judge you one way or the other. That's not my department. Just think about that. Can you do that for me? Please? There we go. Just hang tight, Art. And I'm sorry. I think that did it. He's ready. Ready? Ready to move on. Once we calm down all three ghosts, KK and I can do our thing. But for now, keep doing what you're doing. That's kind of disgusting. What are you showing me that for? Hmm, that might work. Good here. Jess, do you recognize this? Mary Jane. That was her name? Can you tell me about her? I... Yeah, that sucks. That really, really sucks. Dana shouldn't have done that. But you can't do anything about it now. It's out of your control. You see that, right? That's it. That's it. I just need you to think about that for a bit, okay? that did it. She's calm. She's ready. Just one more to go. A, a doll? Why are you showing me that? An old toy. Let me see. Dana, is this yours? Arabelle, huh? That's a nice name. Oh, I see. Dogs will do that sometimes. I'm sorry, but why did you do that? There was no need for that. I... No, I can't judge you. That's not my department. If you really want to move on from this, you need to make it right. Asking forgiveness, yeah. Doesn't matter if you get it. It's just important you ask. Just think about it, okay? Just think about it. Yeah, just have a little think. That did it. She's aware. She's ready. Okay, that's the last of them. Here goes everything. They're... They're not attacking. Guys? Oh, thank God. KK, get in here. It's safe. God, it's good to see you. You met everyone? This is Eli, that's Mandana, and that's... Wait, duh. You guys can't see KK, can you? You're kind of facing the wrong way. Uh, now she's on your other side. Now she's... KK, stop messing around. Anyway, there's just one more thing I need to do. Then I'm going out to eat about a dozen steaks. Hey guys, Dana, Art, Jess, I want you to meet my friend. Her name's KK. I know you all have had a rough few months, but it's almost over. Just take her hand, okay? One at a time. Human again. Almost makes me. Never mind. You're not sure. That's just it. I would have died in there if you hadn't shown up. There's nothing, Logan. It's our job. That's not what I'm getting at. You guys, you do this all the time? More than we used to, for sure. I'd like to join you. KK, too, obviously. Is that possible? We don't want to be caught like that ever again. Really? I mean, thank you. What about the rest of you? You more than proved yourself, Logan. I welcome you. Father will not like it, but that can be dealt with. Um, why is that? He often says that death is part of the mundane world, and we should not get involved. 
But after what we saw tonight, perhaps we should review that sentiment. We're tired. I haven't slept in three days. Do you have a place to stay, Logan? I've got a place in the neighborhood. Great. You go home and get some sleep. We'll meet up first thing in the morning. I'm looking forward to it. You are awake. Good. I have a question. Of a personal nature. I hope you'll answer it. I have my reasons. Please, indulge me. Our missions have taken a very... personal nature. At least as far as you are concerned. These visions you have seen of your demon self, could you tell me how they make you feel? I see. Pragmatism. That is often necessary, but rarely pleasant. Thank you for sharing. I will see you at the meeting. Hey, shouldn't you get some sleep? We all need to be fresh tomorrow. What do you mean, all this time? It's only... Wait, what time is it anyway? Jesus, I really should put a clock down here. Nah, I've lasted longer on less sleep than this. I was reading about ghosts, trying to learn more about the geists we saw. There must be millions of old texts and tomes on the subject. None of them have anything approaching solid facts. Still, there's got to be something, somewhere. Lost spirits are turning geist on us, so no, I'm not okay. I really shouldn't let this stuff get to me. I've outlived a lot of people. I buried my wife over 60 years ago. <laughs> my kids are in their 60s. I'm probably going to outlive them, too. And that's okay. I've made my peace with it. But geists, that their souls could be twisted like that? I don't like it. Not at all. Well, that's why the unavowed exists, doesn't it? To deal with stuff nobody likes? Anyway, sorry for the brooding. See you at the meeting? Right, see you around. Hey, you're finally up. You guys keep some late hours around here. This place is... well, I'm not sure I have the words. Either way, I'm here and I'm ready to help out. Anyway, I was told there'd be a meeting or something? Just let me know when it starts. You got it. Now, where were we? A bestower and spirit guide in the unavowed hall. More evidence that times are changing. I did not say that. I merely have... reservations. Bestowers deal with death. Mundane, mortal death. It is messy, fraught with emotion, and rarely pleasant. But, times are changing rapidly. We must adjust in kind. So, shall we start the meeting? Yes, it is time. So, you met the new guy? The bestower? Yes, I have. Did I read the report correctly? You battled three poltergeists for two days and survived. Um, I wouldn't call it battling. I just kind of sat there. Regardless, anyone else entering that house would have been killed. You being there saved lives. Well, I was where I needed to be. That's all. No doubt. However, a poltergeist should never have formed in the first place. Let alone three. How did this happen? <sighs> of course it was. The demon turned the residents against each other, then encouraged them to kill each other. Somehow, in the midst of all that nasty, 
Their souls got corrupted, made them go geist. But again, we return to our old question. Why? Why is the demon doing this? To what end? I admit, I am confused. Have you investigated Staten Island yet? No, not yet. Then perhaps we will find our answers there. A ferry ride in the rain. Just what I was hoping for. You all know your duty. Report back when you have new information. Meeting adjourned. Did he just... You get used to it. Eli, you are tapping the edge of your book. I am. Right. So, what are we looking for? Magic, mystery, monsters who want to eat us, that kind. Summoner, you have made a grave error. Return me to my world immediately. Release me! Send me back! You summoned me in the middle of battle. I am the General Commander. Without me, my soldiers are doomed to failure. You obviously know the answer to that, Summoner. It is no secret our efforts are going poorly. Perhaps even futile. They poison our waters. They destroy our resources, our homes, our lives. So we fight. Outnumbered and outmatched, but what choice do we have? We don't want to win. We want to live. If you have counsel to offer, I am listening. The hell was that? Secondhand visions are a bit fuzzy, but I think it was one of the Merfolk. Oh, easy. Your head okay? You do look kind of hungover. Is that it? Because I know a few good hangover cures from back in the day. It's not a hangover. It's a neuromorphic memory imprint. Oh, just as well. None of those cures actually worked anyway. You seem alright. Good. Clapped your hands and summoned one of the merfolk into this world. Which shouldn't be possible. You've seen how much energy it takes to open the path through the void. Not even a demon possesses that kind of power. Anyway, let's keep going. We're not going to learn anything out here in the rain. So he's like the others. There are no others. Janie, this is rotten and you know it. It's a tragedy, Vicky. That's all this is. Damn it! You know what? I need a drink. Come talk to me if you want to do your damn job. Hey, are you alright? You look like you've... well, like you've seen a ghost. Sorry, miss. You shouldn't be here. You need to leave. You know her? Take my advice and stay clear. She's one citation away from being locked up. Dead? No. She came close, though. The sole survivor of a mass shooting. Just try and ignore her, if you can. You're from the local 120? You do look familiar. But no, you just got one of those faces. Anyway, I can't tell you much. Harrison's orders. This is just a... Tragedy. A senseless tragedy. It's a tragedy. Just a tragedy. A senseless tragedy. It's a tragedy. That's all this is. Sure. Please try and stay clear. 
Vinny, come on. You and me, we go back. You think I don't know that? But you keep bothering people. You keep bothering me. She was your wife, you asshole. It was a tragedy, Vicky. That's all it was. You're serious? Dead ass serious. Now leave, Santina. Well, screw you too, buddy. Banned from a bar. Now that takes me back. <sighs> Logan, are you alright? I'm fine. Just give me a second. The first thing they tell you is not to enter a gin joint, no matter what. But the AA handbook wasn't written with folks like us in mind, huh? I know that. Look, never mind. I'm fine. Let's go in. Hey, new faces, all right. Come on in, dry yourself off. Hey, yeah. Uh, who else go to the pen? Her and me, we go back. I help her out where I can, but there are limits. It was a tragedy. Yeah, it was a tragedy. That's all it was. It was a tragedy. That's all it was. Yeah, she recovered. Physically, anyway. But Vicky's got enough on her plate without me talking behind her back. It was a tragedy. That's all it was. I ain't going anywhere. That guy's wife dies, and it barely registers. Does that seem off to you? You're not wrong. His wife died. He's been brain... Oh, man. Another ghost. And in a back alley, no less. Can you see him, Logan? It's a her. And, yeah. Can we talk to you for a sec? Hello? Hello? Who goes there? My name is Logan. This here's KK. This isn't the place for a child. Is she yours? Kinda. We're stuck together anyway. Either way, you shouldn't be here. Leave as soon as you can. Can you tell me anything about this place? I am waiting for orders. That is all. I did. We must be getting some psychic spillover from Logan. We should have hired a bestower years ago. Shh, let me work here. So you know my name. What's yours? I'm a soldier. Just a soldier. No offense or anything, lady, but you don't look like a soldier to me. That's what I am. The general says so. I'm gonna take off, okay? You don't need my permission. Good. I asked you to leave. You mean Vinny's wife? It was a tragedy. That's uh, all it was. Now why are you going around asking about that? That was just a tragedy. That's all it was. The case is closed. So, Eli, you know about bestowers? About folks like me? A bit. The records are spotty, but there are some. What do they say? Nothing that's relevant anymore. The supernatural world has changed. That's crap and you know it. Keep your voice down. Oh, I'm sorry. Wouldn't want to embarrass you. Jesus, V. It's not that. You can't be here. Everyone already looks at me funny. Can't you just stop? People are dead. How many are gonna pile up before you do something? It's a tragedy, Vicky. That's all this is. Right. Sure. I'm going for a walk. See you around, Donnie. Bye. Huh? Sorry. 
I was a bit distracted. Oh, you mean the tragedy? That's all it was. A tragedy. Just leave Vinny's wife alone. Janie's on that one, isn't she? It's a tragedy. That's all it is. Right. See you. Yes? What is it? Are... Sorry. I thought you looked a bit familiar. But no. It was just a trick of the light. That's a joke. Obviously. Obviously? <laughs> In any case, while I'd love to chat, I have a mountain of paperwork to get through. Unless there's something else I could help you with? <sighs> Is she bothering my officers again? That woman just can't let things go. What's to tell? She used to be one of my finest detectives. Now she's not. I feel for her. I really do. But until she gets the help she needs, she needs to stay out of our way. No, unless that's all. That was a tragedy, wasn't it? Poor Marlene. But it was just a tragedy. That's all it was. Yes, what of it? Now, unless you have something important to bother me with. Mental help. The kind you need a PhD to prescribe medication for? She refuses to get it, and it's only making her condition worse. Heaven helps those who help themselves, as they say. It's out of my hands. I do not gossip about my officers, even suspended ones. Please take your idle speculation elsewhere. Yes, well, if you'll excuse me, I have no paperwork to claim. No, KK, I'm not gonna ask him to join your Trollgate guild. Let's try not to annoy the cops, okay? Hey, yeah. Uh... If you don't know, I probably shouldn't say. You guys are obviously not from the neighborhood. Really? Vicky only worked with cops. And I know all the cops in this area. Sorry, but I can't help you unless I know you. Vicky's an old friend, and a good cop once upon a time. I ain't betraying that. Even if she has become the neighborhood nut. The alley? It was, uh, my wife. A tragedy. That's all it was. Your wife died in the alley? She... It... Tragedy. That's all. It's us again. You really shouldn't be here. General's orders. Marlene? Is that your name? Marlene? I'm a soldier. Even soldiers have names. And yours is Marlene. My name is Marlene. That's it. I, I think maybe you're right. I... Wait. What am I doing out here? So, um, I hate to tell you this, but you're kind of dead? I am a soldier. It is my duty to die in battle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You already did. I did nothing. I am merely awaiting orders. Right. Whatever you say. Do you know Vinny? The guy who runs this bar? Hello? Vinny doesn't, doesn't give me orders. orders. The general does. So you do know Vinny? I await the General's orders. General? I fight for the General. I die for the General. It is who I am. It is what I do. So why are you hanging around out here? I was getting the basement ready. Vicky, she rented it. I needed to clean it up. I needed the Master Key. Master Key? For the basement. I was picking it up when I was somewhere else. What do you mean, somewhere else? The key. I was getting the key. It's hidden under that cinder block. I bent down to move it, then. 
Everything went dark. I was somewhere else. I was on the battlefield. The sky was red. I had a spear in my hand. They told me to fight. You mentioned a they. Who are they? It's all so pleasant. The man from the water. Only, he wasn't a man. He sent me to the forest. To the enemy. The ones with teeth and claws. They had to die. I had to kill them. So I did. Jesus, why'd you do that? I don't know. It's coming clear. I was a soldier. I was following orders. I, I was attacked from behind. I heard the snarling and, and the screams. Everything went dark again. I, what happened to me? Where was I? I don't know. They killed me. I'm sorry. Marlene, can you take KK's hand? We're gonna get you to where you need to be. Uh, okay. What's up? Sure. What do you need? Sure. Just a sec. Seems pretty tip. I used to host a bunch of backyard barbecues myself back in the day. Of course, these days, I wouldn't even need to buy fuel. Do what we need to do and get out of here. What are you trying to do exactly? Okay. Sure. It's just that room. I came close to living like that once upon a time. There, but by the grace of God and all. Don't move. Any of you. Okay. Now turn around. Nice and slow. Holy shit. It's you. It's fucking you. Hello, partner. Give me one reason why I shouldn't put a bullet in your head right now. Serious? You fucking shot me! Me and the others! I've been watching you. You've been sniffing around, asking about me. And what the hell did you do to Marlene? Marlene? You mean the ghost? No, the Tooth Fairy. Yes, the fucking ghost! Marlene's fine. But please, watch your language for the kid. What fucking kid? I'm talking about Marlene! Marlene DeMarco. Missing for a week, then found dead in this alley, arms and legs chewed to pieces. There's been no investigation, nobody even wants to talk about it. Not the cops, not her husband, nobody. Nobody except you. So tell me, what is going on? 
Didn't you hear? I can't help people anymore. Had to give that up along with my badge. Last year, you put me in the hospital. Got me right in the shoulder. Spent a month in recovery. Things were fine, but when I got out, everything was weird. Nope. You stay there and listen. Twelve years I've been a cop. You think that means something? No, I'm out on my ass. Everyone thought I was crazy. Me, bodies piling up all over town and I'm the crazy one. Nobody cared. Not the cops I used to serve, not even the victims' families. It was like they didn't even notice. I thought I was the only one. But you guys notice, don't you? You think I'm gonna tell you anything? No, here's what's gonna happen. We're all gonna march down to the police station. Then you're gonna tell the captain everything. Tell her what you can see. Convince them I'm not crazy. Get them to give me my badge back. Fine. Convince them that. You and the rest of your murder cult. Murder cult? Isn't that a bit much? She was possessed. It wasn't her fault. Sorry, who are you? Beckett. Eli Beckett. Listen to this guy, so fucking polite. Look, Eli Beckett, I don't care what kind of cult you are, we're going to the station. Now. And tell them what? That ghosts and goblins are real? You think that's gonna work? I've gotta try something. God, it's like looking into a mirror. What the hell are you talking about? You think I didn't try the same thing? Telling people about it? Tell people what? The things we can see, nobody would believe it. I was convinced I was going crazy. Stay where you are, and I am not going crazy. No, you're not. You're living in a world where this is possible. Holy... Vicky. Can I call you Vicky? De Detective Santina. Magic is real. You know this, and you're part of it now. We shouldn't be fighting. Something bad is going on here on Staten Island. You're drawn to it. So are we. Let's help each other. Put our heads together. Fix this, whatever it is. What do you say? I want... I just want... I want to be normal. I, I don't want this. You want to help? Stay the hell out of my way. And stay the hell away from me. I guess that could have gone better. guys must think I'm stupid, don't you? Breaking into my apartment, going through my stuff. Don't you remember what a Class B felony is, partner? Or have you forgotten everything I taught you? Don't sound so surprised. What did you think was gonna happen? Now sit tight, the cops will be here any minute. You can help me by being good citizens and surrendering peacefully. Then tell them everything you know. We're on the same side here. Bullshit. There are laws. There are rules. You guys are spitting on them. Donnie! You've got my call, thank Christ. Hello, Vicky. Christmas came early, baby brother. I got three perps in there. Gift wrapped, just for you. They're armed, so you should call for backup. Just make sure you get credit for the caller. Um, Donnie? You gonna move your ass or what? Donnie? Donnie, what the holy fuck? You were killed here. Unknown shooter. It was a tragedy. That's all it was. Donnie, no. A tragedy. Just a tragedy. Donnie, this isn't you. Snap out of it. Just a... Shit. I don't want to do this, Donnie.
magic. Whatever, just stay back. You'll get yourself shot. Oh, ye of little faith. Guns. So combustible. It's safe. You can all come out now. You too, Figgy. Is... is he okay? Oh. He'll be fine. I... Shit. What a mess. Right. I... I'm sorry. You saved my life. Thank you. It's been a long year, but that doesn't excuse anything. I was a grade A jerk. You had your own problems. How you deal with them is on you. How I should deal with them is as a cop. It's time I do that. Were you really possessed when you killed all those people? When you shot me? Forget? Hell no. Never forget. If you forget, then they died for nothing. So, are you with us? Someone brainwashed my brother to kill me. You don't mess with two Santinas and get away with it. Vi Vic? Donnie. It was Harrison. Harrison? Captain Harrison? She told you to kill me? How? Why? It's okay, Donnie, but you're sure. Joy Harrison. That Captain Harrison? She said we meet her on her boat when it was done. Said it was a tragedy. Just a tragedy. Harrison, huh? Stay safe, Donnie. Your sister has business to take care of. You guys coming with me or what? Um, shouldn't someone stay here with Donnie? You guys go ahead. KK and I will watch the kid. Who the hell is KK? Uh, never mind. Let's go. She's getting away! Move it! Stop the boat, Harrison! That's Captain Harrison. You Santinas. Never any respect. Fuck respect! Stop the boat! And the language. You get that from your father. Although your mother isn't much better. Stop the fucking boat! Whatever you say. Just lower that gun. There. Oh. It's you. You were one of our own officers. And the Eternox shooter to boot. You've eluded us for months. I should be impressed. I can't exactly judge you. Not after everything that I've done. Whatever helps you sleep at night. But it won't matter for much longer. He is coming. Who is coming? The General. I met him out here. On the water. He gave me this power to manipulate minds. I used it to further my career. Convinced old Lakuda to take early retirement. I should have known there'd be a price. A price to the General. He needs soldiers. His people can't fight on land, you see. He needs us for that. That was the deal. He gave me this power, I would send him people. For his army. People? Yes. He would send them back, eventually. In pieces, usually. Pieces? Then I would use my new power to cover it up. Am I? Maybe. I didn't have a choice. He would have killed me otherwise. But it could have been worse. The General wanted hundreds. I only gave him a dozen. Yeah. You're a freaking hero. You made me think I was crazy. You made everyone think I was crazy. So tell me, you gaslighting bitch. Why single me out? I don't know. I didn't want to. Believe me. But I can't touch your mind. The General's power. You're immune. I'm what? It's because she's void-touched, isn't it? Your power won't work on her. Or us. I knew that as soon as he walked into my station. I knew then I'd have to take action. You sent my brother to kill me. I thought you'd leave, Vicky. Then you'd just move away in shame after everyone shot me. But no. You just dug in deep. Instead of moving away, you moved down the block. Typical Santina. Like a dog with a bone. You just won't let go! What the fuck? Silence! Summoner, you have returned at last. Do you intend to fulfill your promise to me? You stall. You have come empty-handed. You instructed me to bond with a human. One with ambition. 
day you would bring me an army. I have done so. And yet I still wait for an army worthy of the name. So I ask again. Where is my army, Summoner? My people continue to get slaughtered by the hour. Pebbles! You attack me with pebbles. Why? You are the one who summoned me here. You are the one who promised me an army. But you just toy with me. Why? You play with the lives of my people. There is no misunderstanding. Right. Enough of this. There is only one outcome here, Summoner. Your death. The blood of my people demands it. given a bum deal. We get that. But no more people die. That's final. I see. Very well. I accept your terms. I will leave and never return. Just like that? You leave Harrison with this power? This neighborhood has seen enough killing. Let's not add another one, okay? <sighs> Fine. Yes. My people need me. With or without an army. Goodbye. I pray we will not meet again. And the secret ingredient? Paprika. I'll have to remember that the next time I get knocked out. Seriously. Paprika. Lots of it. Better than aspirin. There she is. Vicky! Hey, Donnie. Captain! Is it true? Did you really order me to kill my own sister? Officer Santina. Answer me! Easy there, Deep. Everything's taken care of. What? Yes. It was a misunderstanding. Lots of misses. Yeah, uh, misunderstanding. That's all this is. I'll just go home. I feel not so good. So, what do we do about her? I assume you guys have a magic jail or something? Magic jail? We don't. Not anymore. Right. Then this is what we're gonna do. Let me guess. You want me to resign? Leave town? Or are you just going to kill me? No. You're gonna keep your precious job. Excuse me? We can't tell anyone what happened. So we can't have you running around either. So you stay here on my home turf. Take one step off Staten Island, I'll find out and I'll come after you. If I see one person acting weird, one whiff, of anything hinky happening around here, I'll hold you responsible. I understand. Good. Now get the hell out of my sight. So, you guys have a wizard clubhouse or something? <laughs> uh, something like that. Our HQ is on the Lower East Side. How do we get there? Magic carpet? Nope. The ferry. Then we catch the entry in uptown. Yeesh. Well, uh, let's jet. The 1005 ferry's leaving any minute. Trust you are rested after last night? I admit that I am jealous. To be out at sea again, well, it would be like old times. Do I? I suppose that is unsurprising. I was thinking of bygone days at my mother's knee. Have I? I suppose I cannot help it. I do not often dwell on the past, but I dare not forget it. I am the daughter of the Pirate Queen of Ulster and her legacy lives through me. 
Speaking of which, I must continue my training. I will see you at the meeting. Hey there, you're awake. That was quite the harbor cruise last night. Most people would pay good money for that. Yep, we survived against all odds, only to do it again today. Welcome to the Unavowed. But seriously, the brass ones on that guy, showing up in the middle of the harbor like he did. Supernatural creatures used to be more skittish. They worked in the shadows. They're getting braver, bolder, flexing their muscles in front of mundanes. And if that goes unchecked, well, we know where that leads, don't we? No, nothing's wrong, and everything's wrong. Sorry, I'm not making a whole lot of sense, am I? Many centuries ago, there was a fire mage. His name was Alden. He got bold, too. He killed people with his power. Whole villages, armies. Nobody could stop him. He was my great-grandfather. So yeah, I know where this leads, and it's never anywhere nice. Anyway, see you at the meeting. You got it. Sounds like you guys went on a real pirate adventure last night. Saw a sea monster and everything. KK was jealous. I guess watching over Vicky's kid brother didn't have quite the same punch. Hear that, KK? Something to look forward to. Anyway, I'm ready when you are. Give a shout when the meeting starts. You got it. Now, where were we? So this place is real. It's all real. You know, when I got up this morning, I thought I dreamt it all. But I could smell the cordite on my hands. Donnie still has bruises on his head. And when I saw Harrison on the street, she looked terrified of me. That almost makes it all worth it. Anyway, I'm ready to get to work. Right. Catch you later, partner. I have been reading the reports of your last mission. It has been a long time since I have seen one of the merfolk. To hear they are so... changed distresses me greatly. Nice. They were never nice. They were good. There's a difference. The merfolk once lived in harmony with humanity. This is several thousand years ago, of course, but... They were peaceful, playful, loyal to their allies. All they asked in return was to live in peace. Now I hear they are fighting for their lives, fighting wars, building armies. <sighs> I suppose our world is not the only one which has evolved. Regardless, one must not live in the past. If you are ready, we will start the meeting. I agree. I am glad to see you made it, Detective Santina. Um, uh, you don't need to call me that. I'm no detective. Not anymore. My daughter speaks the truth. For a full year, you were on a mission to ferret out the truth at great risk to yourself. Is this correct? Yeah. Who else was gonna do it? Then it is settled. You are a detective. One who detects. Speak no more of it. Now, on to the matter at hand. I am thankful that you let the general live. The Jin were close friends of the Merfolk once. But I would be remiss in my duty if I did not express reservations. It was the only way to end things without killing anyone, sir. I am aware. But can both the general and Joy Harrison be trusted? In so much as anyone can be. Truly spoken. We will just have to wait and see. You all did good work last night, considering the circumstances. But my question still stands. Why? Why is the demon doing this? What does it have to gain? We, uh, still don't know. Have we exhausted every lead? Spoken to every witness? Is there anybody left? I don't see any cops, so I guess you'll have to settle for me. You all know your duty. Report back when you have new information. Meeting adjourned.
Holy shit. Language. Kid present. Sorry. Vicky Santina? Is that you? Oh, hey, Corey. How's it going? You know, standing here in the rain, guarding a wreck. You? Eh, things sucked. Might be getting better. Catch up later? Sure. It's good to see you. So, Eli, you used to be normal like me, right? Jesus, did a crate of Miracle Grow explode? It was a large spillover of life energy, but essentially, yeah, that's kind of it. This the stiff? That's him. Right, let's take a look. He's covered in moss. Grass, weeds, it's kind of taken over his skin. Yeah. My best guess is that he's being absorbed by the life energy in the room. What? He's being eaten? Are we safe in here? It's life energy. It doesn't kill. As long as we're alive, we're fine. Fine. But if I turn into plant woman, I'm coming after you. Anyway, good news, his hands are still pretty humanish. Duh. Did I teach you nothing or what? And got him. That's the easy part. Now I just gotta call in a favor. Yeah, Donnie, it's me. I'm sending you a file. Fingerprints. Could you get them analyzed for me? Yeah, it's dead-ass urgent. You can't? Oh, my man! I owe you one. My bro didn't disappoint. This guy is Harry Taylor. 62 years old, petty thief, homeless since 09. Dropped off the radar about a year ago. I guess we know what happened to him. That's about all I can do for now. Is it cool if I take off? I promised Donnie a burger. No problem. This is, uh, not what I expected to see down here. Hey, you look a bit lost. Maybe we can help. Hello? Who's that? Are you Harry Taylor? You know me? I know of you. Oh, I see. So it worked. What do you mean, it worked? The pain. It's all gone. The ritual must have worked. Oh, thank God. Whatever happened here, I don't think it worked. I'm sorry. But... But it had to. The Master promised. Jordan, Wendy, they all promised. All I had to do was bleed a little. Just a little. Wendy lifted the knife and then... Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. And you're here to... Help you the rest of the way. I see. Will it... Will it hurt? No. The hard part's over. Just take KK's hand, okay? Okay. Um, does that usually happen? No. No, that never happens. Maybe we should get out of here? I was about to suggest the same thing. Who disturbs my grove? Ah, Melkaressa, it is you. I was wondering if you would ever come back. Have you brought more worshippers at last? <sighs> was that mortal body giving you a mortal memory as well? That spirit was the only worshipper I had left and you destroyed him. Worshipper? That was no worshipper. He was just someone who needed help. So we helped him. Hmm. A bestower. Rare as hen's teeth you are. You cannot resist your nature. I cannot fault you. Nevertheless, Melkaressa and I had an arrangement. 
The one you made a bargain with. Have you forgotten everything? The power to heal in exchange for worshippers. That was our arrangement. Do you intend to honor it? Look, whatever deal you made, it wasn't with her. A fire mage? I thought Umden's hunters put you all to death. You keep interesting company, Melkaras. I believe I understand now. You joined them, the unavowed. The ones who banished me to the North Woods. I know this. This grove was created with magic that I gave you, making it an extension of my domain in the North Woods. Completely in line with the terms of my banishment, if not the spirit of them. But that's Jin's for you. Always so literal. Wait, Jin? You saying Mandana banished you? I speak of Kalash. Does he still live? Sure he does. I'll tell him hi. We're done here. Now let us go before I burn this place to the ground. No, I don't believe so. Jesus. Bestower, Melkaressa, you are free to go. Tell Kalash to come to my grove in the North Woods. I want to renegotiate the terms of our agreement. Galen of the North Woods. It has been a while. It should have been me. Why was I left behind? Eli is not a fighter. Leading him into danger was irresponsible. And would you have fared better? I do have some experience in combat, Father. You weren't there. It happened too quick. There's nothing you could have done. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Guys, we need facts. We need data. Who is this tree lady, anyway? You said you imprisoned her. It was centuries ago. This city was just forming. It was taking over her forest. She resented it. She was a danger. She was hurting people, killing them. She had to be contained. Good question. Can't Eli throw fire? How'd he get taken by a thing made of wood? Gerlen is cunning. Her experience extends back thousands of years. If she could not defend against fire magic by now, I would be disappointed, but rest assured, Galen will pay for taking Mage Beckett. If she wants to negotiate, that means she has something to negotiate with. In other words, Eli is alive. I have no doubt. I am coming with you, Father. I will hear no argument. I would not dream of saying otherwise. Yes, Galen knows you, or at least, she knows the demon that was within you. That can definitely be used to our advantage, and get some answers in the bargain. Hey, KK and I were there when everything went down. We're going to. You ain't leaving me behind either. This is a negotiation, not a battle. Only the three of us are needed. But your zeal is appreciated. Yes, the sooner the better. Father, have you... Renewed your veil recently? Galen, you have requested an audience. I am here. Galen! Welcome, oh high and mighty Jin. As a welcome, it is a poor one. Show yourself. I cannot leave my grove, remember? You saw to that. But I have your pet mage. He is in good condition, mostly. Leave him be. Is that little Mandana? My, how you've grown. You were just a sapling when I saw you last. I grew up. That you have. You keep interesting company, Kalash. Come to my grove. We have much to discuss. She that sword. She is baiting you. We are here to negotiate. With all due respect, Father, words will not work with her. And you know it. Eli, stay strong. Madonna, stop! <sighs> I blame her mother for this. Let us follow her.
Eli, wake up. We're here. He's not responding. The vines. They are drugging him, keeping him asleep. No matter. I'll soon make short work of them. It will take mere seconds for my pets to crush them to death. Can you free them in time? Galen, show yourself. Kalash, you've gotten old. I have evolved. You are just as petulant as ever. You expect me to be overjoyed to see you grateful? You took my forest and I want it back! You are in no position to bargain. What do you want, Galen? What does anyone want from a djinn? I want a wish. Silence. The last refuge of a jinn who cannot bear the truth. My forest once covered this entire island. It shall be so again. That is my wish. Out of the question. Would you let your precious minions die instead? I cannot. A jinn's power does not work like that. You want a wish, Galen? Then you must fight for it. Here is your wish, Galen, in physical form. As long as I live, it will remain encased in crystal. Face me in combat. Kill me, and the crystal will break, granting you what you desire. I have your daughter and pet mage at my mercy. Why should I bargain with you? Kill them, and your wish will never be granted. You will remain trapped here, forever. What say you? My daughter and Mage Beckett are in danger. I have little choice in the matter. I cannot let them perish, not while it is in my power to save them. The traditional rules of engagement apply. They do. Then I accept. Let this woman be the witness. It is done. Then let us begin. I am ready, Kalash, whenever you are. If you are going to strike, then strike! Like a toothless hound. All bark, no bite. Indeed, I've still got it, regardless of what my daughter says. Now, to the business at hand, freeing our friends. You really thought I could be so easily defeated, here in my own grove. I draw my life from this place. As long as it lives, so do I. So tired so soon. Get up. Give me your best shot. I feel strange. Something is wrong. Absolutely not. The rules of engagement, they cannot be broken. They must be obeyed to the letter. You don't know the rules. No, of course you don't. Here, take it. Quick. Dizzy Kalash, tired. What are you doing to me? Conia Makaladam. Have you heard of it? Hemlock? Yes, my own personal strain. Concentrated so densely it can even weaken the mighty Jin. Now get up, old man. I've been waiting centuries for this. You will not disturb the battleground. 
The rules of engagement must be obeyed. This is... This is not going as planned. Don't worry. With bed rest and plenty of fluids, the toxins will just drain out of your body. But you have to kill me first. Now get up and fight. Do not interfere. This is between me and the Jin. Oh, the terms of engagement. You found the loophole. There is always another way. Perhaps we could think of some, given enough time. But time is a luxury we do not have. I cannot defeat her. That is the truth. So do it. We declare the winner. You will be granted one wish. Use it wisely. To the neck. It is quickest. Hurry, before she reforms. What? Impossible! That wish was mine! He was about to die anyway! What? She... speaks true. Father is gone. And good riddance, trapping me here. Did he think I'd stay quiet? I would highly recommend it. Fine! Leave! You have your precious wish. Do with it what you will. What? No! A fitting end. I will visit her often. With a chisel. Mandy, Kalash wouldn't want... Don't you dare tell me what my father wouldn't want! Not even I know that! I am... sorry. I... no. No, I am not sorry. My father is dead. I want to go home now. Just scanning the knife again. Oh, uh, you saw that, huh? Well, no point in denying it. What? Oh, no, it's, it's nothing like that. Uh, well, maybe it is kind of like that. It's complicated. Well, maybe not that complicated. Just leave it, okay? Sure, but the scan was incomplete. It takes time for the spell to work fully. But it's been a few days. It might have more data for us. Should only take a few minutes. I'll let you know what I find at the meeting. Me? I'm fine. I'm working. So yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> Burnout. Good one. <sighs> you really want to know how I feel? I want to burn the North Woods to the ground. Then I want to melt that stone dryad into lava. I could do it, too. It just takes time. And will. Did I ever tell you about Alden, my great-grandfather? Yeah, he needed to be stopped, no question. 
I always wondered what made him that way. What made him decide that turning villages of people to ash was a good idea? He lived a long, long time. Long even for a mage, but he was still human. Maybe he suffered one loss too many. Will that be me one day? I don't know. Fifty years ago, I was an accountant with two daughters. Today, I'm a fire mage with the unavowed. Tomorrow, who knows what I'll be. I've lost a lot of people in my life. I thought I'd come to terms with it, but it never gets easier. Jesus, I'm making this all about me, aren't I? Poor Mandana. Let's talk about something else. Uh-huh. Sure. She just needs time. Seems easy enough to give it to her. Yeah, well, I feel for her, I really do. But the whole operation was dumb from the start. That's hardly fair. I mean, I didn't know Kalash well, but he seemed to know what was what. He was cocky. He should have brought us along. We could have helped. How? She couldn't be killed. Not in the normal way. Learning from failed ops is part of the job. I'm just saying, numbers. We could have made a difference. Maybe, but wondering what if is like growing an orchard in the desert. You mean, fruitless? Uh, yeah. My old sponsor used to say that. Jesus. Remind me to never quit drinking. Anyway, what now? We having a briefing or what? Damn right there is. We'll be here. Just call us when it's time. It is strange. Father did not speak much, and yet this room feels so silent without him. Ah, I cannot deny it. What you saw is true. Yes, although not in the way you imagine. Eli and I are... Oh, it is so difficult to describe feelings when one is forced to speak the truth. Feelings are so messy and complicated. Once in a while, we crave simplicity. Eli and I give that to each other. Once in a while. And last night, I needed simplicity. Please, let us speak no more of this. I do not blame you. I see the truth of it, as Father knew I would. His sacrifice saved us. He saved the unavowed, perhaps the city, even still. Knowing that does little to make me feel better. Getting to know my father would not have been easy, even if he lived. Ajin's mind is a maze, twisted and complex. Father was no different. Even I had difficulty understanding his thoughts. I suppose I am too human. Yes, it is time. You doing all right? As well as can be expected. Thank you. I have not lost sight of our goal. The demon still eludes us. But we've got a name now, right? What'd you say it was? Mel something. Mel Carissa. Great. That's something. So what's our play? I do not know. Father never did write any rules of succession. There was... never a need. It is not a name I have heard of before. I did some scrying last night. From the bits I've been able to pick up, the name Mel Caressa is associated with knowledge. Knowledge? What does that mean? I'm as lost as you are. The scry's still ongoing. Hopefully it can tell us more. I was hoping you'd ask that. We got lucky last time. The demon's energy signature had degraded so badly it was hard to pinpoint where it had been. But this time, I had its name. That made the scan ten times more precise. So you found more locations? Better. I pinpointed the point of most activity. The demon went all over the city. But there's one place it kept returning to again and again. I was even able to get an exact address. And that place is... 300 Henderson Avenue, on Staten Island. 
You've got to be fucking kidding me. Does that address mean something to you? Really? The place where you got possessed? And where I got friggin' shot. Yeah, I'm sorry. Look, I might not know a lot about demons, but the whole returning to the scene of the crime thing, it's bullshit. It never actually happens. So what the hell is going on? Sure, ready when you are. But if you get possessed again, I'm shooting you first this time. Indeed. It is time we take the fight to the enemy. We are ready to depart when you are. Lead the way. It seems quiet enough. You see or sense anything, Mandana? I see a portal. Yeah, so do I. What did you find? Looks like some handwritten notes. Answer honestly. Does that resemble your handwriting? Hey, I told you that scan was perfect, didn't I? Please, read it. A fossil of a gin. Come on, let's keep reading. This is madness. The demon was creating spiritual unrest, filling the city with supernatural energy. Huh, this explains why we've been so busy lately. This demon has certainly been... busy. So the demon created a pocket realm. That must be where it went. Portals like this take energy to create, right? Like, a lot of energy? Yes. Energy and will. So, hypothetically speaking... If someone were to spend a year generating spiritual unrest in New York, creating lots of magical energy as a byproduct... It... could be accomplished, yes. I am just as eager as you, rest assured. But the portal is sealed. We cannot enter it. There are bonds of energy holding the portal closed. I can sense them. Yeah, so can I. Not as sensitive to these things as you are, but... Holy crap! The bonds feel... frayed! Yes. Quite recently, too. Wait. This is... This is because of us. Our actions over the last week. Correcting the spiritual unrest that the demon caused. There's less energy to hold this thing closed. Ready and raring. Wait, what? It's a long story. Never mind. I don't want to know. Yeah, it does kind of look like him. Pardon? Looking good there, Junie. No, it's not right yet. Uh, of course it isn't. <sighs> you have called and I have answered. But I feel no creative desire within your soul. Inspiration will not help you. Somehow I strongly doubt that. I am several thousands of years old. Now what do you want? What do you mean? Stay back. That voice. It sounded so familiar. Good familiar or bad familiar? I... cannot say for certain. So many memories. It is hard to filter them. You have recovered? Good. Let us move forward. 
Hey, mister, can we talk to you for a sec? Hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? A while? Oh, wait, wait no. no. You're not her. I'm not? Jesus, not you. Oh, you mean KK. She can talk for herself. Yeah, believe me, I know. Leather appears burnt, quite severely. But check it out. There's initials on the bottom corner. AF. I wonder who this belonged to. Don't you think it's time we head home, Junebug? Five more minutes! Mm, fine. Five more minutes. So, um... I traveled up the mountain of glass. <sighs> Do you mind? Can't you see I'm... Wait, Mondana? Is that you? Yes. Wow, it's been a while, huh? I am unsure. Do I know you? Um, yeah. Don't you remember Havana, 1592? I must be GI'd. Calliope? That's me. You seem changed. Yeah, you could say that. I'm gonna sit down. Come join me. We've got, like, a billion things to catch up on. That was... unexpected. No, she is most definitely not. She is a muse. A muse? Seriously? Like, ancient Greek stuff? Muses are ancient creatures. They can tap into the creation energy of the universe. Very dangerous when summoned, but Calliope seems different, changed, not quite herself. I am eager to speak with her again. I still can't believe it. Of all the times, of all the places, you still with the unavowed? Yes, it is good to see you again. Right back at you. You haven't changed a bit. That may be, but you have. Yeah, you could say that. I lost my power. Really? Yup. Poof. Gone. I'm not a muse anymore. How did that happen? Some lady took it. Hey, you should order a cappuccino. They draw these little heart shapes with the milk. It's amazing. I saw it. So full of anguish. I could feel the desperation pouring from every rivet and nail. Yeah, Muse, remember? I can sense these things. I thought you lost your powers. So? If you lost the ability to fight, you'd still know how to fight, right? That is... true. Same with me. I know how art works. I know what feelings went into them. And that sculpture? None of those feelings were nice. Anything that was created by anybody else, it leaves an imprint. I can still see them. Bye! Stick around if you want to hear more poems. For some reason, fewer people come here than they used to. So I have the place to myself! How odd. Calliope seems so... joyful. Why is that a problem? Got some wet ones here, Chipman. Huh? Oh, hey. Welcome and stuff. Jesus, Chipman. Wasn't for me, you wouldn't sell anything. Evening, folks. Best in the city. Try them. Seriously. Chipman's an artist. A real one. Rainbows or no rainbows. Not that anyone would know it. The guy knows nothing about promoting himself. I know. Chipman's got the art bug. Guess you gotta know your market. The food's still the best, though. Can't argue with quality. I just wish he'd, you know, focus. 
Seriously, where have you been? Some idiot set himself on fire, built some weird metal altar to do it on, too. The weird thing? He did it in the middle of the night. No witnesses. Some poor jogger found him the next morning. Pretty sure. Forensics checked it all out. He set the fire himself. Of course, now it makes the guy some kind of local folk hero. A folk hero? Yeah, the folks who live here, they think it's some kind of, I don't know, artistic statement or whatever. But you ask me, he was just a nut. And? We thought maybe it would help you with a case. First of all, it's not my case. And second, I'm not in the habit of accepting evidence from strangers. So, you know, thanks, but no thanks. Sorry, but why are you so interested? Case. Ah, oh, you stand an island, huh? Well, you need to go through official channels if you want more info. Sorry. A beat cop like me could get into trouble if I spilled. I don't know. What else could it be? This friggin' neighborhood. Draws them in like flies and honey. Draws in... what? Artists. They've been coming out of the woodwork, causing all sorts of trouble. Forget the drug dealers. It's the artists you gotta worry about. <laughs> you have no idea. Just last week, in this very spot, I had to drag some guy out in cuffs. It was this rider on his laptop. His battery ran out of juice. So he freaked, smashed his laptop against the table, then started punching people. I wish I could say it was an isolated incident, but it's been happening all over the neighborhood. Stay dry out there. Huh? Oh, oh, hey, you want something? I'm kind of busy. Thanks. It's not quite right yet. I'm getting there, but not yet. Hey, Chipman, you got paying customers. You want to stay open or what? Fine, fine, fine. Sorry. I swear to God, you'd be on the street if it weren't for me. I get it. Yeesh. Anyway, what can I do for you guys? Sure, here you go. That'll be five dollars. Just eat it slow, okay? And think about it while you eat it. Sure. Bye. I have lived here for centuries, and learned a great many things. Good evening to you. You folks seem to be lost. Maybe I can help. I knew it. You're walking the streets in the rain, and yet you stop to talk to an old man at the side of the road. Nobody with a destination in mind would do that. That was... well deduced. No, I just... Read, people. It's the old artist in me, I suppose. I heard. Fascinating. Fascinating. A man died. Well, it is. Why there? Why in the middle of the night? The act of immolation is violent. Painful. One doesn't do that to themselves unless they want to make a statement. And yet, it was done in the middle of the night. Nobody could see or hear him. So yes, I'd call that fascinating. What was the man trying to say? We'll never know. I'm just an old artist watching the world go by. I doubt I'd be any help to you. But if you'd like to stop a while and talk, I wouldn't say no. Pleasure. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm Stanley Bates. As I said, we'll never know. The man was inspired. We never know where it comes from or why it comes. It just is. And that's all we can say about any artistic act. It just is. So you really never... How about I take a picture of this to show your dad? No, it's not right yet. Just five more minutes. Okay, okay, for real this time. Hey, nice to see you. I'm not the only crazy one out here tonight. Neither am I. I'm only out here because the little boss here wants to draw. It was some kind of performance art, wasn't it? 
someone put together an altar in the middle of the night and then lit themselves on fire? Well, it wasn't real, was it? I, I mean, it couldn't have been. They did it in the middle of the night where no one could see it. If you're gonna make a spectacle, you want people to see it. That's what everyone's saying anyway. Someone put it all together as some kind of statement. You know, before June is born, I might have been able to tell you. But these days, I leave the art critique to the people with more time on their hands. She's my daughter. It amounts to the same thing, doesn't it? Sorry, is something funny? Apologies. I am envisioning my father calling me boss. It is an amusing thought, and I needed the distraction. Thank you. You're welcome, I guess. See you around. I'm Miss Stein, by the way. If you guys want to do any more chatting in the rain, feel free. I don't know. It's not finished yet. I know. That's what makes it good. I took pictures. Don't worry. <sighs> what? Nothing. You don't get it. It's okay. Bye. Can we talk a bit more? I guess. So what are you doing out here? I'm working. Working? Like maintenance work or something? Something like that. You're not going to get any more specific than that? Don't see why. So who did you mistake KK for? Huh? When we first met. You thought KK was her. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, of course you don't. So what is this thing here? Thing? This metal thing. Looks like some kind of modern art. Sorry, I don't see anything. It's not exactly hard to miss, man. It's kind of huge. And it's right here. No, I don't see anything. Sorry. So I heard a guy set himself on fire around here. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Burning. It's quite a bold statement to make. Is it? Sears. It cleanses. If you burn something, it's gone forever. I can understand the appeal. You can understand the appeal? Journal. I burnt it. It needed to be cleansed. It needed to not exist. So I burned it. It's gone. This journal of yours, you said he burnt it? Yes, right here, right over... No, the journal is burnt. It no longer exists. I need for it not to exist. Please. Okay, okay. You said you burnt your journal. This leather book cover is also burnt. Did this belong to you? Offering. It's in the hands of the angel now. The offering? The symbol of our love, I, I gave it to the angel. I thought it would work. It didn't. Burning it, burning everything, it was the only way. Hey, slow down. What happened exactly? Nothing. It's burnt. It's gone. Seared from existence. It, it has to be. What did you mean about an offering? I need to forget her. I made an offering. A symbol of our love. It didn't work. What's this stuff about the hands of the angel? The offering, the symbol of our love, given to the angel. She has it now. And I am still waiting for it to be gone. The memory, the... everything. What angel are you talking about exactly? I created her. She is larger than life. Part of the city. Her gratitude is nothing. Uh-oh. What is it? I messed up. Need to start over. Oh, for five more minutes. <laughs> then we need to get home. No, I'm not asking. I would highly suggest not climbing the drain pipe. Perhaps I could be of use instead?
On closer inspection, there is a small crack in the wall here. The hand of the angel, indeed. This should prove useful. Hmm. It appears to be some sort of jewelry in the form of a horse. Hey, just a sec. What's up? Bye! Stick around if you want to hear more poems. Ooh, was this made by Clay Chipman? I've been meaning to go to his shop. May I? Mmm, mm, my god, this is so good. <coughs> Excuse me, that was strange. This bagel wasn't made by Clay Chipman. Not entirely. Are you positive? We watched him bake it. No, his hands made it, but the process, it was inspired by... by me. That's impossible. I did. And I've never met the guy. But that bagel tasted like my own power. I had it for over 3,000 years. It couldn't be anything else. So your power now belongs to Clay Chipman? No. Muses can't create, remember? He was inspired by someone with my power. Oh well, good luck to whoever it is. I don't want it anyway. Yup, sucks to be them. Bye! Stick around if you want to hear more poems. Mom, June, and Ada, it's way past your bedtime. Five more minutes! Okay, five more minutes, and I mean it this time. Hey. Never seen it before. That is a falsehood. Your initials are inscribed on the charm. You called me a liar? Yes. Sweetie, Mama's gonna step over there for a minute. You stay here, okay? Damn it. Hey, are you all right? Do I look all right? Take that stupid thing back to him. I don't want it. I don't want him. You misunderstand. He did not give this to us. It was hidden. Enshrined, one might say. Enshrined? Of course it fucking was. Nobody does creepy like Amos Fennel. Does he worship it? Pray to it? No. If he did, he doesn't anymore. He's dead. He's... what? I am sorry. It is the truth. He is dead. Of course he is. It was him, wasn't it? The guy who burned himself in the park. I didn't think it was real, but I should have known. It's exactly like him. Well, leave me out of it. The guy scared the hell out of me. I suppose he's gone now. That's good, I guess. Could you tell us what you know? Anything at all? Fine, I guess. It doesn't matter now, does it? Amos used to be a good guy. An artist, creative, really, really funny. June loved him, but then he moved in with us. And then he started getting obsessive. Obsessive, yeah. I got that impression from him. You met him? Kind of. Oh, then you know what I'm talking about. He started drawing pictures of us. It was sweet at first, but he wouldn't stop. Every scrap of paper, every surface, the walls, the floor, everything. I blamed that teacher of his. A teacher? Yeah, old Stan Bates around the block. Amos was fine before he started taking lessons with him. I mean, how crazy is it to draw obsessively and never stop for a break? Fix what? Oh, look, I don't like that tone. June is fine. She isn't... Like him. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, can we talk a bit more? I guess. You did all this because of May Stein, didn't you? Your gratitude is nothing. I had to cleanse. Cleanse? My feelings for May. They wouldn't leave me. 
I needed to cleanse them, the way Stan Bates taught me. Stan Bates taught you to burn yourself? No, he taught me to make a statement. Bring what's inside out into the open. It was the only way. There are lots of ways to deal with a breakup. Burning yourself alive is not even on the list. You don't understand. You don't know what it's like to have feelings. Feelings you can't get rid of. I understand, Amos. I understand more than you think. You do? I spent over a decade of my life trying to drink away feelings like that. But not anymore. No, I got help. I talk to people. Talking helps. It does? For a while. Then you have to do it again. So, do you want to talk to us about it? More than anything. Okay. Just take KK's hand, and we'll talk. Is everything all right? Yeah, he's gone. Five more minutes, June. Seriously this time. Five minutes or... Ugh, who am I kidding? Bestower, there is a contradiction about you that I am curious about. What is it? Good evening to you. Amos Fennel. No, doesn't ring a bell. He is the man who set fire to himself in the park. I see. No, I have not heard of him. Student? I'm no teacher. Who, who told you this? A former lover of his. A woman named May Stein. Wait, that name sounds familiar. She has a young daughter, a budding little artist type? You are correct. Aha, now I remember. Hey, miss, huh? He gave me a different name when he came to see me. What is there to tell? Like many young artists, he was struggling, trying to find inspiration. So he would come and speak to me. He spoke about his lover, who was quite smitten, and encouraged him to channel that love. We later spoke about his heartbreak after they separated. I encouraged him to channel that as well. I hope I did some good. Dude, he set himself on fire. He channeled his feelings into a work of art. How many can say the same? I call that a triumph. This neighborhood needs more of that. What reason? I have no statement to make. As I've stated, my muse has long since departed. You mean Clay Chipman? I see him every morning. His shop is not exactly out of my way. He feels frustrated, often. He desires to say something, but all he knows is baking. But as I always tell him, sometimes the artist doesn't choose the medium. The medium chooses you. Medium? Did he have to use that word? Anyone who chooses to speak with me. And I'm usually here in this spot. I'm always willing to chat. I know the child. She walks down this block on her way home from school. She's shown me some of her pictures. Quite a budding talent. I'm happy to encourage her. I'm a... what? I see it now. It is obvious, in retrospect. What are you talking about? The creative energy that surrounds this neighborhood. It centers around you. Me? I'm nobody. Just a washed-up artist. My muse is left. That is only partially true. You do not have a muse. You are a muse. Are you insane? Or am I? As an artist, I'm willing to believe anything. An open mind and open eyes. That is all we ask. But perhaps we should discuss this off the street. Yes, of course, please. Come in, if you must be soaking. Well, here we are. Is something the matter? My critics would often ask the same thing. Why? It's your home, man. It doesn't look like anyone lives here. I admit, as I've gotten older, I've enjoyed life's little pleasures less and less. So I've sold a few things. Things that I no longer need. Yes. A muse can inspire art, but cannot appreciate it. 
I see. I understand. I admit I have been feeling different. I just thought I was getting old. Leave this in our hands. We will find a way to reverse this. Wait, you want to cure me? That hardly matters. Not in the grand scheme of things. Sure, I get no pleasure from a painting or a book or even food. But giving artists inspiration, artists like Amos, like June, like Clay, that gives me immense satisfaction. You inspired Amos to kill himself. The others will surely follow. Your power is out of your control. Their deaths carry more meaning than their lives ever will. For years, I've seen this city turn its collective back on the art community, replacing us with bland corporate chains. Now we can reverse it, go back to the way things were, and you want to stop it? I don't believe you want that. You can't want that. Let me prove it to you. I have a simple question for you. May I ask it? Thank you. My question is simple. What are you feeling right now? Yes, you do seem slightly catchy. Could I ask why? So, what are you feeling? What brings us joy is often a mystery. So tell me, what is it that makes you so happy? A second chance. That must be a relief. You were lucky indeed. But so many others did not have the same chance as you. They go through life lonely, rudderless, haunted. Don't you owe it to humanity to share your happiness? To be inspired by the good fortune you stumbled upon? This is the power of the creative force. It's the greatest gift we as humans are given. But it must be used. If ignored, it could do unimaginable harm. It's you. Sorry if I don't get up. I'm a little... out of breath. Being creative can certainly take the wind out of you. I kind of overdid it. I'll be fine. By the way, where's Mandana and Mr. Big Shoulders? I thought you unavowed types worked in a team. Okay, okay, chill. Tell me what's up. <laughs> Whammied. I like that word. Wait, why did you summon a muse in the first place? He forced the creative energy on you? That's insane. You're lucky to be alive. You can't just force someone to create. You have to be ready. If not, you'll burn out. Your friends, where are they? Then let's go and find them, shall we? Mandana? Mandana! I've never seen the Muse's power abused like this. Stanley Bates has no idea what he's doing. The creative energy, her mind is overflowing with it. She's going to die, and soon. Your friend can't hear you. I'm sorry. She's buried deep, struggling to connect with a deeper part of herself, one that she can express through art. It's being forced upon them. You can't change people through force. The subject has to be willing. They have to be ready to confront whatever is inside. Your friends aren't. And unless we help them with that, they will die. We can't do anything. My power is gone. I'm a bit useless here, but you're kind of not. You on a vow, guys. You have a link, right? Something connecting you? You can use that. Try and connect to your friend. See if you can help. A mind meld. I totally get that reference. And yeah, that's exactly it. 
Mandana is in a heightened mental state at the moment. Connecting to her mind won't be hard if you focus. Just touch her on the head and, well, think about her. Your friend is going to be vulnerable, scared, confused. So, be gentle. Good luck. Oi, girl. Danger! Yeah, cheek. Take that back or I'll claim you. Ah, uh, Mandana's a solid she devil like her mom. She's just a bit banjax like. A bit! Ah, oh, sham that is. Time swallowed me. Got me beat like. Happens to us all like. If you don't be dog wild. You think you're sham fiend? I got the young one to see the light. She's just lost her sea legs like. Just needs a push. Why then? I am immortal. Like a jinn. I abhor falsehood. Like a jinn. I feel love, as humans do. I bleed, as humans do. Jinn and human. I discard one for the other as it suits me, donning them like costumes. But which one is me? Do I follow my mother? Or my father? Because it gives me pain. Torn between two worlds. The uncertainty of where I belong. Hurts. It does not matter. Perhaps you can talk some sense into my daughter? She merely needs to make a choice. I am sure she will make the right one. Farewell. Father or mother, to which world do I belong? I cannot stomach the presence of other jinn. So cold, so calculating, so proud of their wordplay. The other jinn children would tell riddles. I would escape into the forest to run and jump. Alone, father tried to understand. He tried to help, but he could not. How could he? Yes, I seem human. I have... Thoughts and emotions that seem human. I have shared laughter with human friends, gained knowledge from human teachers, shared hearts with human lovers. They all grow old. They all die. None of them understand. Even mother. I can never be one of them. Not entirely. There will always be... distance. It does not matter. Oi, girl. Distance? That's an awful thing to say, like. She'd not know the arson if a blade fit weren't for me. Why then? Perhaps you can talk some sense into my daughter? She is torn between two worlds. I understand this. Her human side made her less prone to introspection. Made her impatient, hot-headed. Her spiritual side enhanced her physical body. Making her quicker, stronger, together... It was a lethal combination. So it was up to me to channel her, hone her into a force for good instead of destruction. I did the best I could. What father could do more? Farewell. Father or mother, to which world do I belong? Yes, mother taught me how to fight, just like her. Although, if I am honest, I was better than her. Not that I would show it in front of her crew. She would have gone mad as a box of frogs. Yes, father always told me such. Being part human, I cared too deeply. I needed direction. Father and the unavowed provided that. Something new? Whatever do you mean? Could it be without both sides, human and jinn, I would not be myself. If I were not human, I would not care enough to join the fight. But if I were not jinn, I would not be strong enough to fight in the first place. Not in any way that matters. I am both, and yet neither. Something new. 
a new path entirely. Something new from both worlds. What happened? Where is Stan Bates? He whammied you. Whammied? Doesn't matter. Are you okay? I feel good. Exhausted. But good. I think I need to sit down. Just for a few minutes. some kind man six years six years I've been on this road it hasn't caught me yet but the end is coming not today someday can you turn and face a tidal wave no it'll get you for sure just one misstep just one moment of weakness then it starts again the blacking out starting fights waking up in strangers beds ending up the hospital over and over I only just managed to build my life again I won't go back I can't go back, so I gotta keep busy, gotta keep distracted. The end is coming. It's coming so fast. KK? She's a ghost. If I wanted a drink, she couldn't stop me. She knows it. I know it. This is my fight, not hers. I just hope, when the end comes for me, she'll be the one to help me cross over. You die, man. What do you think? It's a race. To reach the end before the monster gets you. I plan on making it, but it's hard. The shit I see every day, it's hard. In the program, you see folks who have been sober for 30, 40 years. And most of them, they're mean. You know why? They don't want to feel. Because feeling things, that leads to drinking. For me, I have to feel. I have no choice. Sad stories shoved in my face every day. Death and misery every day pushes you toward the monster. Does it matter? It's out there. It's coming for me. And it's gonna get me. Look like? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Why should it matter? I don't need to know. I don't want to know. You think you're gonna arrest this thing? Put it in jail? You can't. I don't even know what it is. But that's your point, isn't it? I need to know what I'm fighting if I'm gonna fight it. The monster. It looks like... It looks like... Gotta be careful of this guy. He's... Huh? Whoa, KK. Calm down. I'm fine. I'm okay. I was just... I thought I heard you up here. What happened? We're wondering the same thing. Stan Bates? He did... something. Something to us. What was it? He hit you both with a lethal dose of creative energy. It almost killed you both. KK says we went into some kind of trance? She was scared to death. But it was worth it, wouldn't you say? Do you see it now? Do you see what I can offer? This whole neighborhood. The whole world. No, I know precisely what I'm doing. I get it now. You and your friends, you just received a deep, clear understanding of your deepest selves. You're swinging the creative force around like a sledgehammer. You could have killed them. Nothing great is achieved without risk. Oh my god, my power's in the hands of a total idiot. Seriously, you all need to kill him. Kill him now before he kills someone else. I beg your pardon? You heard me. We do not have the resources to restrain a muse. Pragmatism is called for here. He didn't actually kill anyone on purpose, did he? Maybe he deserves another chance. This is insanity. Don't I have a say in this? I've been given this tremendous gift, and you don't want it to be used. I don't understand. No, duh, you don't understand. That's the problem. If I used my gift improperly, then I'm sorry. I can learn. It's too late for that. So, how is this going to go?
Until today, I didn't even know I had this power, let alone that I was killing people. Perhaps forcing it on you three was wrong. I'm sorry, I didn't know what I was doing. And how many are going to die before you figure it out? I... I will try not to let that happen. Let me live, and I'll try. That I promise you. That is... an interesting idea. You do not possess the knowledge, but Calliope does. What? The power comes from you, yes? It is a part of you. Much as the power of a djinn is a part of me. Don't get what you're saying. It is spiritual, not physical. You could retrieve your power if you focused hard enough. You think if I wanted that, I wouldn't have done it already? Thanks, no, I'm happy the way I am. As am I. You can't give me such a gift and then take it away. The truth, Stan Bates, and no lies. I meant what I said. I will try not to let that happen again. Trust is one thing. Blind faith is another. You are a danger, Stan Bates. This much is certain. My friend chooses to trust you. Abuse that trust, and it will end badly for you. There's an AA chapter that meets five blocks from here. The All Saints Church. You know it? I do, but how will that help? I, I don't even drink. Doesn't matter. It's about regaining some control over yourself. Please, just think about it. You're just going to stand back and leave him like this? I... You know what? I don't even care. I'm a mundane human now. This is none of my business. Good luck, Stan Bates. You're gonna need it. Come on, kid, move! I just want to get a bit of target practice in. I don't see what the big deal is. So many great bars in Brooklyn and we didn't walk past a single one. I call that a blessing. Anyway, what's up? I think we made a good call with Stan, although maybe not the right one. I know what addiction's like. Sometimes you're not even aware of the damage you're doing until it's too late. If Stan Bates gets the help he needs, then maybe he'll be okay. Maybe. Either way, what's done is done. If it turns out we made the wrong call, we'll try and make it right. Sure. We'll chat later. So, muses exist. And they can kill people. I see why Mandana was always training so hard. Speaking of Mandana, she's kind of taking a break today. She's in the study, so we're giving her some space. Anyway, what's going on? Right. Catch you later, partner. Oh. Sorry, I was a bit distracted. Mandana told me about your encounter with Calliope, so I've been reading some old scrolls about muses. Most of the scrolls in the Library of Alexandria were Greek, so you can imagine there's a lot on the subject. Right, see you around. Hello. I was just processing the events of last night. I have no memory of what transpired in the creative force. Perhaps it is better that way. Regardless, it was good to see Calliope again. I will always have a fondness for her, wherever fate takes her next. Yes. Eli said he had some information to share. It is time he did so. You look... kinda tired, Eli. You okay? I'm fine. Too much fire reading. Takes a lot out of you. Anyway, information about Melkaressa was carefully guarded. Even with fire reading, all I found were fragments. But I did learn a few things. Yeah. What are we dealing with here? You said yesterday that it had something to do with knowledge? Yes. Quite literally. From the bits I was able to pick up, the name Melkaressa is synonymous with knowledge. What does that mean? It knows things? What kind of things? Indeed. It knew just where to strike, and who to strike against, again and again. 
Only a creature with immense reserves of knowledge could achieve this. I don't know. I only found accounts of people who used Melkoressa for information. Nothing about Melkoressa itself. I guess when we find it, we can ask it. Yeah, lead the way. My metro card's getting cold. I don't know about that. I figure if you die, you should be allowed to play as many video games as you want. Not now. It's night. The ferry's closed. Huh? KK wants to go see the Statue of Liberty. The ferry's nearby. Ha! <laughs> That's so fun. I took my girls there once. I won't let one mistake destroy everything I've built. I won't. Too many depend on us. There's too much at stake. It was true then, and it is true now. The trust must survive. If we go down, it would be catastrophic. You told me you could make all this go away. Is this true? You are asking me to extend you a lot of trust. Listen, Miss... What was your name again? It is not my nature to trust anyone, least of all a stranger. And yet, I think you're the woman for the job. Whatever it is you need to do, do it. With my blessing. Let's go to my office and discuss this privately. Something tells me this help doesn't involve a low-interest loan. Is everything all right? Should I call an ambulance? Oh, hi. <laughs> no. Our friend is just having an episode. She gets them sometimes. You're... no. Never mind. It's not my problem. See? Totally fine. Well, you seem all right. Just be careful around here. It's... Well, just be careful. Well, that was awkward. Were you and Kalash close? Me and Kalash? No, not... They! Sit in their tower! Believing they are giants! Screaming into the abyss, and can you hear me? We heard you. It would be kind of hard not you hear with your ears, but not your mind. You are asleep. Wake up! Please. That ghost. Can you see it, Logan? Hey, um, excuse me. Can we talk for a sec? Might as well. The service is being slow as shit today. Dude, the kid? <laughs> Sorry, didn't see you there. What's, What's your name? KK, huh? Well, KK, here's an early lesson for you. Never trust a man who doesn't swear. My dad taught me that. I guess we'll see you around. Sure. Didn't you call that guy Jason in that vision of yours? Jason... Grant? I don't believe it. You know him? Sure I know him. Well, knew him back in the 60s. Jason was just a fresh-faced kid then. He sure got... old. That's not all he got. This guy's the spitting image of the ghost outside. You're joking. No. This is the guy. Right, KK? See? She agrees with me. Well... Hey, folks. Not really. I mean, he walked past the desk every day. He'd say hello, but we never really talked. And I guess we never will now. Poor guy. Had a heart attack just outside the door. Was waiting for his car service when, poof, out like a light. The guy was fit, too. Well, fit for a 73-year-old. So he wasn't expecting to die. Well, I mean, who is? He was stressed out, I'll say that much. 
I don't care how in shape you are, if you can't relax, you're not healthy. That would be Roy Fellows. I don't know much about him. Why is that? Because I never see the guy. If he ever comes and goes, it's never when I'm on shift. No, nope, like I said, I never see the guy. But the lights are still on, and I still get paid, so I figure he's doing all right. See you around. Hi. Um, sir? Yes. Have you ever heard of Roy Fellows? Roy. You know Roy? Uh, yeah. Roy. That little shit. That a sneak. That, that liar. <sighs> no. I do not know anyone named Roy Fellows. You're Jason Grant, aren't you? You run this bank? Run it? Maybe I did. Once upon a time. Now a board of directors does all that. I'm just a figurehead these days. Suits me fine. The world moves too damn fast. This old brain can't keep up. Did you have a meeting with a lady on the street nearby? Nope. I don't believe I did. Are you sure? I don't have meetings on the street. He's not. Trust me. He's just confused. Confused? Who's confused? Er, uh, nobody. Sorry. Bye for now, Mr. Grant. We'll see you around. Sure. Now where is that goddamn car service? Hey! Sit in their tower! Believe in their- He... he was crushed. Crushed? Crushed by the tower edifice of evil that he created. The future was taken because of him. It is as they say, what goes around, comes around. He deserved no less. Guy died, man. How does he deserve that? Do not doubt me! My name is Hugh Kravitz, and I speak the truth! He rests at the top of the towering edifice. All answer to him. He answers to nobody. Fellows is untouchable. Yes, because I am the only one awake. Please, wake up. Please. Mr. Grant? Yes. Do you know Hugh Kravitz, that protester across the street? Is he still out there? Poor guy, he used to work for me, you know. He used to work here? What, as a janitor or something? Janitor? He was a vice president, a real up-and-comer. So what happened to him? Nothing. He got fired. Lucky guy. He was fired? And he was lucky? Yes. Yes, he got out. But he didn't get fired, did he? None of us could really escape. Why was Hugh fired? Did he do something? He set fire to his papers and threw them into the cubicle bed. Nearly burned the place down. Everyone saw it. He had to be fired. There's no escape, is there? Not for us. Not even for you. You're trying to escape? From what? Nothing. From everything. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Bye for now, Mr. Grant. We'll see you around. Sure. Now where is that goddamn car service? What's up? Do my best. What do you need? I don't see why not. Kid. He took a kid. They sit in their tower. Believe it. What? You mean you can see? See the truth? Sure. 
We can see the truth. You took a kid. Come on, man. Tell us what happened. I can't. Right. Your confession said you couldn't talk about it. So you're under some kind of compulsion. The truth hurts. Hurts my head. It hurts so much. Of course it hurts. That's what makes it hard. Look, we want to help you. But we can't if you don't give us something. Anything. I cannot speak the truth. I did not kidnap a child. So, you're saying you did? Mr. Fellows did not force me to steal a baby boy. That boy was not named Elijah Cook. The boy did not belong to my closest friend and co-worker, who I can't look in the eye anymore. God, help me! Is he okay? He tried to get around his compulsion. It was strong. It fought back. We better get an ambulance. Hopefully his brain isn't fried. We've done all we can for him. Let's get to the bottom of this. who collapsed on the street earlier, weren't you? I honestly don't care. You said you have information about my son? It's been three months. I thought the police had given up. But you're not really the police, are you? That's all I want. I don't care about anything else. My name's Logan Brown. The guy in the hat is Eli. I see. Appropriate. Appropriate? Nothing. Everyone thinks I made it up. They think I'm crazy. But I know what I saw. I know what happened. You can trust us. Whatever you tell us, we'll believe you. He disappeared right in front of my eyes. I took him out in the stroller. We go running in the morning and he just vanished. For God's sake, no! I was looking right at him. I saw him smile. I heard him laugh. He always laughed when the sun hit his eyes. Then he just melted into nothing. I thought I was having a breakdown. I thought I left him in his crib or something. But I looked everywhere. He was just gone. The police don't believe me. They think I was negligent. That I left him alone. That I'm a bad mother. But I'm not. I saw what I saw. He disappeared. I don't need sorry need him found. You said Hugh Kravitz was involved. Is that true? Yes. Hugh Kravitz was forced to do it by his boss at the Grant City Trust. Hugh and the Grant City Trust. I never liked that place. I never liked this city. We should have just stayed down in Florida. Can we ask you a few questions about what happened? Sure. Whatever it takes. Didn't he, um, die? I don't know much about him. Sorry. He was friends with my husband. They're co-workers. Or rather, they were co-workers. Hugh got promoted a few months ago. We had him over to celebrate. It was... Jesus. It was the night before Elijah disappeared. I never noticed that connection before. Why would I? But how? Why? We don't know. I'm sorry. What about Hugh? He's always outside the bank. Did you ask him? Um, he's kind of unconscious right now. Of course he is. Travis doesn't live here anymore. He went to a hotel, I think. He won't tell me where. If you think it will help, I'll just be here.
Ugh, what is that stuff? I think it's glowing. It's cast off, I think. Residue that's sometimes left behind when magic is used. Magic that can make a baby disappear? Yeah, I don't know what else it could be. Whoever did this, they were careful. This spell has a very strong veil around it. Otherwise, Winnie Cook would have seen it. Well, we'll just have to see it for her. KK says this guy's name is Griff. Some kind of... what, seriously? A detective bear? I mean, sure, why not? Elijah? It can't be. You okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> Sorry, KK. I'm fine. I think so. I, I mean, no, it's impossible. What are you talking about? Nothing. I, I don't know. I... nothing. Just let's keep looking around. What is that? A passport? Let's take a look. Yes, kinda, if he gained about 20 pounds. What are you talking about? KK thinks this picture looks like you. Maybe it does. A bit. No, she's right. She's completely right. No, I need to be sure. I need to talk to Mrs. Cook again. She would know. She has to. Um, could I ask you a question, Miss Cook? Sure. Your son, Elijah, did you... Name him after anyone? Is it important? Yes. I think it was Travis's idea. Yeah, his grandfather. It was his grandfather's name. His grandfather was named Elijah. Well, Eli. But that's short for Elijah, isn't it? Isn't that your name too? It's... Elliot. Sorry? My name, Eli. It's uh, short for Elliot, not Elijah. But you had no way of knowing that. I'm... sorry? Never mind, it's nothing. We're going to find your son, I promise you. Whatever it takes. Come on, let's go. You can try, KK. It can't hurt. What's she doing? She's, um, giving you a hug. Maybe he's not the hugging type. Mandana, how'd you get here? That is not important. I am concerned. Yes, of course you are. Eli, please! We must get after him, quickly. I know that look. It's the face of a recovering alcoholic staring at a sealed whiskey bottle. I wanna burn it. I wanna burn that bank to the ground. What could stop me? Hell, who could stop me? You damn well better. I wasn't going to do it. Don't worry, I'm not him. But I want to. I really want to. You understand that, right? Eli, do you know where this path leads? You promised, Madonna. You went to Lodge. You said if I faked my death, if I cut off all contact with my family, they'd be safe. Safe from Alden's hunters, yes. This is something else. Yeah, it's something else, all right. They're gonna be sorry. Of that, I have no doubt. Listen, I'm coming with you on this. That's not up for debate. This is family. If 
you don't get between me and family. I pity anyone who would try. So, shall I go back to headquarters? Or shall I remain? You mean, the four of us? You're gonna give KK a complex. Very well. I will head home. Eli, you will find your namesake. Of this, I have no doubt. Right. Let's go do this. Showing that to me. It's. Oh. Oh, right. Good idea. Give it here. <clears throat> Thank you for finding my passport, miss. Um. Hi. Yeah, what's up? I lost my ID card. I've got my passport here, though. That'll work, right? Sure will. What's your name? Travis Cook. Here you go. Is, uh, everything okay? This passport picture was taken last year? Yeah, sure it was. Dude, you've lost a lot of weight. What's your secret? Oh, uh, that. I've been doing, uh, a Taibo. That's still a thing, right? <laughs> You're asking the wrong guy, believe me. Anyway, let's look you up. Travis Cook, Travis Cook, ah, uh, here we go. Oh, looks like you have access to the 14th floor. I can issue you a temporary ID good for 24 hours. Drop HR a line and they'll replace the one you lost. Oh, I'll be sure to do that. And can I bring my two colleagues up? As long as they're with you, here's your card, and I'll open the elevator for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's my job, man. Have a good night. Well, we're in. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, if you see... You still owe me a favor, Mr. Kravitz. Mr. Fellows, I can't. He's my friend, and it's a child, just a baby. That is precisely the point, Mr. Kravitz. Tell me honestly, Mr. Kravitz, did you really believe you were promoted due to your work performance? I... wasn't? No, Mr. Kravitz. You have a close relationship with the Cook family, one that I chose to exploit. Tonight, Mr. Kravitz, when you celebrate your promotion with the Cooks, place the charm around the baby's neck, Mr. Kravitz. When the sun rises, the child will be mine. I told you I won't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry, who are you? This is Mel Carissa. A close associate, quite unlike you, Mr. Kravitz. You, Mr. Kravitz, are breaking the law of my people. I'm... what? You owe me a favor. And that means you're mine. Owing a favor? Does that mean what I think it means? I don't know. What does it mean? Only one race trades in favors like that. It's how they gain their power. It means we're dealing with the Fae. Fairy folk. Really? KK did wonder if fairies were real. I wish they weren't. I really wish they weren't. Has... Has Travis been living in here? I know that book. It's the premier guide on S-Corp tax code. Or, at least it was. It's about two decades out of date. I guess if you gotta crunch numbers all day, this is a pretty place to do it. The fellows did it. He saved the firm. The world's markets have restabilized, 
Money appeared where it wasn't before. Nobody's going to jail. And now he says I owe him some favors. He wants a seat on the board. A partnership share. <sighs> I did some digging, you know. I know who you really are. You're that police officer. The one who shot up that nightclub on Staten Island. Don't worry. I won't turn you in. I know I wouldn't live five minutes if I tried. But I have to know. Why are you doing this? What do you get out of it? I am not entirely sure about that. I'm not sure at all. I should be happy. I should be celebrating. So why do I feel like my problems are only just beginning? I'm guessing that owing favors to these Fey guys is kind of bad. Yeah, bad. Favors to the Fey are binding. Like a contract you literally can't refuse. And one of those favors was to kidnap a kid? Yeah. At least Jason Grant is dead now. No more favors from him. Small mercies, I guess. KK, think you can see what's behind that door? She says it's a big office, kind of fancy looking, mostly empty. Not much to go on, I guess. you two step back for a bit? I'd prefer to handle this alone. No promises. Right. Um, hi. Excuse me, I, I said... Yeah, I heard you. I was just... Sorry, do I know you? Hey, are you alright? No. Uh, yes, I, I mean, I'm fine. I might have a tissue somewhere if you need it. I'm fine. It, it, it's just... Damn it, I'm sorry. Look, it's okay. You obviously came up here to be alone. So did I. I'll go. This was a bad idea. No, don't do that. Maybe we can talk instead. It could help. You never know. Jesus. You are comforting me. Am I? I, I don't know. I've... Never been good at that kind of thing. I'm Travis Cook. Compliance and investment research? I know. You do? So, I went into your office. You did? You're living there? Mr. Grant said I could, before he died. Nobody's told me otherwise yet. It's cheaper than a hotel, and there's this roof. Hey, I live in a basement. No judgments here. Right. Home is where you make it. This works for now. Could I ask you about Jason Grant? What about him? Well, he said you could sleep in your office. That implies you were on good terms. That's the funny thing. Before Elijah disappeared, Mr. Grant never said two words to me. That didn't strike you as suspicious? Why would it? He was a good man by all accounts. He said I could take all the time I wanted, that I could sleep in my office. 
He even gave me a key to his suite. Said I could take a drink from his liquor cabinet if nobody was around. Really? That is extremely generous. Huh. Maybe it does. It seemed natural enough at the time. Either way, I never used it. After he died, it just seemed kind of ghoulish. This key to Jason Grant's office. Do you still have it? Yeah, I do. Why? I was hoping to take a look around. You think Mr. Grant was involved with what happened to Elijah? I'm pretty sure this whole bank is involved. <sighs> Mr. Grant can't exactly object, can he? Here, take it. If you find anything, let me know. Thank you. I met your wife earlier. You spoke to Wynn? Does she know I'm here? No, but she's in a bad way. She needs you. She doesn't need me. She needs something else. She needs her husband. Well, maybe she should have thought of that before she... Before she what? Before she lost him. My son. My baby boy. Your wife didn't lose your son. Not exactly. So you believe that he disappeared? It doesn't matter. She's hurting. You don't think I'm hurting too? Of course you are. My son is lost. Maybe dead. And it's her fault. That's not fair. I know she didn't mean it. I know she's sorry, but I can't be with her. I can't look at her. Not yet. Not until she tells me the truth. It hurts too much. Elijah's still alive. I know it. A lot of trouble was taken to kidnap him. There has to be a reason for it. That doesn't exactly make this any better, you know. I know. Okay, Travis. I'm going to leave. You take care of yourself. Hey, wait. Yeah? Who are you? You're trying to help me, but I, I don't even know your name. My name? It's Eli Beckett. That's my... I know. It's just a coincidence. Yeah, I, I guess it has to be. Funny, though, huh? Yeah. Funny. Don't look at me like that. I'm fine. Let's keep going. Mr. Grant? Yes. Do you know Travis Cook? I'm afraid not. He works for your firm. So do thousands of people. I wish I knew all of them by name, but I just don't have that kind of memory. You said you don't know Travis Cook. But if that's true, then who gave us this? How did you get that? I gave that to him in confidence. He wasn't supposed to share it. So you do know him? Of course I know him. We kidnapped his child. We had no choice. You took a kid. Yes, we took a child. An innocent baby. That was the price. That poor man. His poor wife. That poor family. All because the firm was in trouble. I was introduced to Roy Fellows. He gave us favors. He got us out of a jab. Then he started making deals with members of the board. Soon he had control over everything. His demands got greater and more dangerous, but we dared not refuse. Wait, that's odd. What? I am talking about it. I couldn't before. It would make my head scream if I did. You were under a compulsion, right? You have the same thing. Yes. Yes, fellows made it so I could never confess a word of it. Never. Not for as long as I lived. Ah, oh, I see. Well, that does make sense, doesn't it? I'm sorry. Don't be. This is the absolute least I deserve. You might be dead, but you're not gone. Help me. How can we stop him? You can't. He's too powerful. I knew it was too good to be true. I never should have agreed to the deal. Better for thousands to lose their jobs. Better for the world markets to collapse along with us. Better anything than this. Are you a drinking man? No. Six years sober. Uh, yeah. 
There's a 34 Hot Brion in my office cabinet. It's all yours if you change your mind. 34? That's, that's a good year. Yeah, I know. So what now? Just leave it to us. He's gone? Yeah. Good, I guess. Let's keep going. Isn't my son beautiful? Thank you, Mel Carissa, for arranging all this for me. It means more to me than you know. You're insane. I'm insane. This whole thing was insane. Insane, Mr. Grant? Is it insane to want a child? A legacy? I have to stop you. I need to stop you. You manipulated an old man at his most vulnerable. Who's the pathetic one? And what are you doing here anyway? I still don't understand what you want. Now, now, Mr. Grant, Mel Carissa's reasons are her own. But you, you still owe me a favor. No, we kidnapped a child for you. I don't owe you a damn thing. Not anymore. Remember what I did for your precious firm, Mr. Grant? Manipulating global markets. Adjusting the ebb and flow of transactions. Sending them all to your coffers. All without tripping any alarms. Quite an achievement, if I do say so myself. So yes, Mr. Grant, you still owe me a favor. What do you want now? I want the firm, Mr. Grant. Full ownership. You can keep the offer. Consider it a gift. Fine. Fine. I don't deserve it anymore. It stopped being mine a long time ago. It is done! Indeed, it is a fine empire. And one day, my son, it will all be yours. No, KK. Fairies aren't like they are in books. Okay, so what's the first number? And the second? Okay, so what's the third? The hell was that? Don't know. The elevator's moving, so I guess it's fine. Yeah, you're probably right. Probably. I know, KK, I know. What is it? Oh, she's just reminding me that there's only 30 floors in this building. Yep, she's right. Now, uh, we did pass the 30th floor already, right? Like, several minutes ago? That's also right. Okay, just checking. I know I'm stone cold sober, so this is real, isn't it? It's real. A pocket realm above the sea. There you go, all tucked in. Daddy has a meeting to attend to. You be good. You hear? Childminder, come forth! Good evening, Mr. Goodfellow. I have business to attend to. Please watch over my son until I return. Of course. I'll have everything shipshape and bristle fashion upon your return. Engaging comfort mode. 
Pede, pede. Shush, shush, be quiet. Go to sleep. Hush now, it is sleep time. There's a good lad. I say, is that fire magic I'm detecting? No, this will not do. Leave immediately. Look, lady. Lethal force is authorized. Right. Sorry to bother you. There, there, little one. The bad ones are gone. Shh. What was that? Some kind of ice babysitter? That's a golem. An ice golem, no less. It's kind of a machine programmed to follow a few simple commands. The thing is ice. Can't you, you know, melt her? Not from here. I need line of sight, and I'm not sure what kind of defenses she's got. It can sense my fire magic. I don't think I can go out there. Thank you. I mean it. Just try and distract her, or make her look away so she doesn't see. I'll take care of the rest. duty to watch over all children given to my charge. Engaging exposition mode. My function priorities are as follows. Priority 1. Protect the child. Priority 2. Nurture the child. Priority 3. Entertain the child. For all inquiries, please contact my creator, Goodfellow Robin. I am authorized to do so. Is this your child? Yeah, she's right here. Her name's KK. Ah, yes. A human spirit. Priority one, protect the child. Hmm, not applicable. KK is dead. Priority two, nurture the child. Also not applicable. KK does not require nurturing. Priority three, entertain the child. Ah, yes. Mental stimulation is quite necessary for young minds, mortal or not. Jesus, you're gonna sing, aren't you? I should think not. How unseemly. I am, however, equipped to read children's storybooks. That is quite proper. Oh, dash it all. I do not possess any story. Cheerio. Ah, this will do nicely. Thank you. It just so happens I have one story in my memory. Please, child, sit down. Don't dally. An S Corporation for United States Federal Income Tax Purposes is a closely held... Gotcha. It's gone? Yeah, she's gone. Sorry to involve KK like that. She's part of the team, man. And hey, she's not going to make me watch that movie again anytime soon. So, you know, silver lining... Got a little drool there. Or, actually, a lot of drool. Either of you got a napkin? His mother was the same. Drooled like Niagara Falls. I mean, grandmother. Jesus, where does the time go? Speaking of time, shouldn't we get going? Yeah, I'll get him. Hi, little one. You're safe now. Yeah, that's right. It's me. It's family. Let's get you home. Shh. It's okay, son. KK says that wasn't how she imagined Fairyland. She expected flowers and rainbows? Tiny pixies with wings? Something like that. The Fey world is huge and varied. If we ever go back, maybe she'll see them. After what we just saw, we're happy to wait. Finally. Yeah, let's go. Hi, um, Travis. Hmm? Oh, it's you. I was kind of lost in thought. What's up? Wait, is that? It's your son. We found him. But how? Where? Roy Fellows took him. He did? 
did. Why? Where is he? Should we call the police? I can't tell you why. We have no proof. I'm sorry. I... I don't care. Elijah's all I care about. So, can I have him back? Oh, right. Uh, of course. Here. It's you. It's you. You've grown a bit. But those eyes, I'd recognize them anywhere. I'm gonna take you home. Right now. You need your mother. Hell, I need your mother. Thank you. I don't know why you did this for us or how, but thank you. Anytime. In a heartbeat. Kidnapper! Thief! What the? Hello. You took something that does not belong to you. Mr. Fellows? That's Mr. Goodfellow to you. This is my child. I have a sense of mind to teach you a lesson. What the hell are you talking about? That's my son! No, 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 I'm sorry. A deal was made. Melcarissa, you were there. You can tell them. Whether made with you or with Santa Claus, a deal was still struck. By Fay Law, the child is mine. Give him back! Now! A fire mage! After all this time! Alden's hunters will be thrilled to hear it. Do what you like! Just give the kid back! <sighs> it is obvious none of you will give up. There's only one thing to do now. No! I am sorry, but it is the only way. I will have to start over with another child. Unless another deal could be made. Shut up! Shut up! What kind of deal? What do you want? Simple. The child lives. He comes back home with me. I raise him as my own. In return, none of you pursue him. You will tell nobody what happened. You leave it be for as long as you live. So, do we have a deal? This is insane. You're insane. Yes or no? Please hurry. My arm is not as strong as it used to be. It is done, Venom. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. Don't worry. I will take very good care of him. He'll want for nothing. Isn't that right, my boy? What have you got to say to that? What? Ah, get it off me! Get it off me! What? I... What? No way! No way! And I forgot the hot sauce. What? What is happening? <laughs> Elijah's a fire mage. He... I... Oh, God. <laughs> Don't worry, kid. He'll be fine. Just keep doing what you're doing. Go get him. Do us proud. Get it off me! Get it off me! And he'll never steal another. Not if I have anything to say about it. Help me, please! No, we can't even touch the child. You made sure of that. Fine, I nullify the deal. Get it off me! Not so fast. Promise to go back to your world and never come back. You won't interfere with mortals or mortal children ever again. Fine, fine! Done! And you will owe us a favor. No, I can't. Yes, you can. And will. Unless you want to see what two fire mages can do. Fine, I agree. I agree to all of it. Good. You're a little prodigy, aren't you? You didn't come into my power until age 50. Enjoy your respite while you can, Fire Mage. The Hunters of Alden will be very interested in learning about that child. I'm sorry. What? What will the Hunters do to it, I wonder? Oh, it will be a pleasure to find out. Nobody threatens my family. Nobody. <laughs> and I'll be watching you from a distance. If you ever need me, I'll be there. Okay. Uh. And you watch over your mom and dad, too. Don't set their building on fire. Deal? 
<laughs> Let's get both of you home. It's still kind of fuzzy. Did my son burst into flames? What do you think? Well, that's crazy, isn't it? Sure sounds like it. Then, no. No, I don't think he did. Trav? Trav, is that you? Wynn? Yes, it's me. It's both of us. But how? It doesn't matter. Elijah wants to come home. And so do I. Is that okay? Can I come home too? Don't be an idiot. Get over here. I think... I hope... They're gonna be okay. Just this once. I think it's all gonna be okay. And I can't do anything about that. Yet. Ah, oh, you are awake. Good. Did I oversleep? Sorry about that. It is no matter. I used the extra time for training. I was gonna say, it's good to see you back at it. It feels good as well. The routine helps. Is Eli downstairs? I thought I'd check in on him. He is rarely anywhere else. Okay, I'll leave you to your training. Thank you. Hey, Eli. Oh, hey, just a sec. What's up? Just wanted to check in before we head out again. Everything okay? Yeah, uh, sure. I'm still processing everything from last night. I'd come to terms with never seeing my family again. But knowing Elijah's a fire mage, that makes things complicated. Complicated? Elijah's your family. I can't think of anything more simple than that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Something wrong? Nothing. Sorry, just a headache. It's nothing. How about you head upstairs? Yeah, sure. See you there. Listen, you. I fought tooth and nail to get back into this body, and I'm not giving it up again now. So you stay calm, and you stay quiet, until I figure out how to shut you up for good. was your body. Past tense. Now, it's mine. So, just relax, would you? I can't focus with you jabbering away in my head. <sighs> it doesn't matter. You'll go to sleep in time, just like you did before. I'll just have to ignore you till then. Hey, you all right? You're looking a little intense there. Me? Sorry, I was just reading that poster over there. You mean the ad for the police academy? That's... Huh? No, I didn't say anything. Something wrong? KK says someone's calling your name. She is? I swear to God, I'm not saying your name. Oh, is this our stop? What's wrong? What? She's possessed again. What? what? <sighs> you know, I really thought I could make it work this time. Jesus, what hit me? Oh, crap. Guys? Wake up.
Don't know. I've been running through these old maintenance tunnels at random. If I don't know where we're going, then nobody else will either. I'll find an exit eventually. Then, I'll plan my next move. Figure out what to do with you to start with. Really, you're nothing but trouble. I guess technically that's true, but how was I supposed to know that it would lead to this? You really don't know, do you? Jesus. Don't be so sure. It took them a year to find me the first time, and that's only because I screwed up. They took so long I didn't even notice them on my tail until it was too late. I got cocky. What can I say? I'm only human. Basic training was more grueling. I can handle this. Also, regenerative magic? That helps too. It's getting away from you that I want. Everything else is just a bonus. Yeah, very clever. Wait, you're not kidding, are you? Oh my god, that's kind of funny. They aren't you. Just the irony. You wouldn't get it. Hi. Oh, it's you. Oh my god, shut up! Yeah, my kids used to say that when I told them to clean their room. Guess how well it turned out for them. Here's a hint. Not as bad as it'll turn out for you. How the hell did you find me down here? Oh, that? I've got your energy signature, remember? From the ritual knife? The what? Forgot about that, did you? We couldn't find you before because we could only track the version of you that possessed that body. So, you know, thanks. You actually made our jobs much easier. Easier, huh? I know where your power comes from, Fire Mage. I know how it works. You think I can't defend against you? Just try it. Me? No, I wouldn't dream of it. I'm just a distraction. Huh? Alright, this is the place. Just one thing before we get going. I want you to take point. Do you think you're ready? It's about damn time, Vicky. Well, maybe you earned it, maybe you haven't. Either way, I need you on this. I know this looks routine, just a bunch of goth kids getting high and causing trouble, but something doesn't smell right. And by that, I mean the uniform who called it in. According to dispatch, it was Franco Moreno. Is there something I should know? No. At least, I don't think so. Just do your job. Get statements, talk to Moreno about what happened. After that, we'll see if there's anything worth talking about. Well, after you, partner. Hey, we're with the NYPD. Oh yeah? You got any proof of something? Gonna need that before I let you in. <sighs> it's your show, partner. Do what you gotta do. Uh-huh. It looks legit. About time you guys showed up. The natives here are getting a bit restless. You wanna talk to Mrs. Norris? She's inside. Thanks. I'll just go inside. Yeah, sure. The boss and that cop are in there already. He saved the day, as far as I know. What do you mean, saved the day? Yeah. As in, he saved lives and stopped the bad guys. It was like Bruce Lee or something. Anyway, you can go in. Bruce Lee, huh? Whatever. Just do what you gotta do so we can reopen. And give that cop in there a raise, will you? He was a damn hero. Are you ladies with the police? That's us. Good. I'm Alana Loris. I own this place. Officer Marino's in the back room, along with the three idiots who started this mess. He's in there by himself? Yeah. I thought of putting our bouncer in there too, but why bother? That cop can obviously take care of himself. Anyway, here's what happened. These three kids pulled out knives. These long silver switchblade things. I swear to God, I thought it was going to be a bloodbath. But then... Then that Officer Marino stormed in. I swear, it was like something out of a Bruce Lee movie. Bruce Lee, huh? The guy outside did the same thing. Well, 
It's true. He fought them all. All three of them. Disarmed them and put them all in cups. Then he dragged them all to the back room. One cop fought three guys. Two guys and a girl, but yeah, those kids, they're regulars here. They come here and get wild, but they're good kids. They always are. I can't imagine why they do something like this. Anyway, they're in the VIP room back there. I guess you need a statement from all of them. I'll be here if you need one. Hey, I know I told you to fly solo, but something really screwy about this whole thing. Why don't you stay down here and talk to the owner for a bit? I'll go up and blow Marina. Jesus, Vicky, I've got this. Don't worry. Are you sure? But he's gotta leave the mess sometime. Well, go and fly. See you when you're done. Huh? Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's me. You damn idiot. What? You just had to get three people at once. Do you have any idea what this looks like? I'm only doing what you told me to do, using the book. I wanted you to use your brain. Three at once? I'd better make sure they're all right before things get really ugly. Well, okay, they're right over there. I'll be here if you, you know, need me. You've done enough. I just want to go home. Can I go home now? Hey, was I interrupting anything? Nothing, Detective Santina. Nothing at all. So, Marino, you got a pretty good caller here. Three of them, in fact. Ah, oh, shit. You know everything, don't you? Huh? Know what? Marino. I can't take it anymore. I'm sorry. Sorry about what? I just did what she said. She told me to do it. She gave me the book. She told me what to do. Oh, god damn it, Franco. What the hell? Use the book. Mind wiper. What? No. Now. Can someone tell me what the hell is going on here? I'm sorry. I I did a good job here, Detective Santina. It was like something out of a Bruce Lee movie. You should recommend me for a promotion and uh forget about all this. Yeah, yeah, good job, Marino. Never knew you were such a badass. I'll... I'll just go call this in. Now, kick over the book. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? I will, if you don't kick over the book. Look, I'll kick it over to you. Just put the gun down. Sure, whatever. Take it, just take it. I, I don't even know why you gave that to me anyway. To prime the pump. Huh? The pump, Marino. Some low-level magic to get things started? That and some good old-fashioned blood sacrifice. Fuck! What the hell? Oh, great, Mel Caressa! Spirit of knowledge, come to me! I give you this body as your refuge in this world. Whew, that's a rush. What? What was that? Nothing you need to worry about. Damn it, do something! She's totally dazed. She's not saying a word. What the hell is going on? What about the kids? Are the kids okay? Nope. Dead. Oh, hello. Mel Caressa, is it? Welcome to my brain, I guess. Yeah, the book warned me that might happen. You share your knowledge with me, and I share my memories with you. You're like an encyclopedia. You have data, but you don't know how to think. I can do that for you. Speaking of, is there really a dryad trapped in the North Woods? <laughs> Amazing. Is... Something wrong? Oh, don't worry about them. They had it coming. You didn't do anything. It just feels like you did because we're sharing memories. Besides, you're an incorporeal demon with no mind of your own. Why do you even care? Okay, look. 
No, I am in control here, not you. You can rewrite memories, can't you? Yeah, you can. I can see it. Remember this night however you want to. Whatever makes you live with yourself. As for me, I have business to take care of outside. May you be snatched away from this place! Let go of me! You are no longer welcome, wicked spirit. The hands you control will no longer do your bidding. In the name of myself, my witness, and the soul whom you hold captive, I cast you out! Now, KK. Turn it on now. Did... did we get it? Oh yeah. We got it. We friggin' got it. So... how do you... feel? Yeah... are you... you? Um... can it wait? Nasty demon in the subway tunnels. We should probably do something about that. Um... guys? Are demons supposed to look... human? What do you mean? This demon... It looks like... Well, yeah. It looks like you. What? Yeah. Care to tell us why? Answer the damn question, partner. You are not lying. But that means... That means you exercised the wrong spirit. Twice. Morons. You're not the demon? He gets it. I'd clap, but, you know. But how? It shouldn't be possible to exercise a human soul. You fry it. Lucky for me, you suck at this. You be quiet. Eli, the words in that exorcism spell, they do not actually specify demon, do they? No. It's broader than that. The exact words were... Wicked spirit. Yeah, well, I always was good at pretending. Even on the force, I did nothing but pretend. Pretending I was sorry for some stupid housewife who let her husband beat her. Or mustering up sadness when some junkie teenager overdosed. Hell, even my partner thought I was a good cop. What the holy fuck? Oh, hey, Vicky. Long time no see. I thought I shot you dead. I stole the other ones, though. Bam, bam, bam. Perfect shots. You taught me well. You're insane. No, this is who I am. This is who I always was. When I got my body back, I thought I could pretend again. Go back to living a normal life. But that's not possible, is it? And maybe, maybe that's, that's a good, a good thing. thing. I am so, so sick, sick of pretending. pretending. Oh, God, shut up already! Logan, can you and the kids zap her into the afterlife or something? Um, I don't think so. She's not actually dead, is she? What do you, what think, you think I, I am, am? Some helpless, helpless ghost? ghost? I've, I've learned, learned a lot from you, Melkaressa. I still, I still have power at my disposal. disposal. Body, body or no body. body. See you soon. See you soon. Oh, um, hey, you're up. We were taking turns watching you. You know, just in case. Don't joke. If you did anything like that, I might have shot you. Look at you. I told him you'd say something like that. But you're really not you, are you? I remember when that picture was taken. Do you remember anything about that day? You were so stupid excited about that damn car. You were like a kid at Christmas. Or, you know, that other you. The lady in the picture. But anyway, my point is that her and me, we worked well together. From the start. But it wasn't real, was it? She hated me. Hated everyone. How come I didn't see it? Do you remember anything? Somewhere in that brain of hers? What the hell makes someone like that? Oh, 
Okay. That's all I needed to hear. See you downstairs. It's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't sound right, but maybe it's the best way. Hey, she's here. Uh, you better get over here. Yes, we have come to a decision. Jesus, don't be so overdramatic. Indeed, we were only discussing the trains. Yeah, the F train is down, so we're gonna have to take the 6 and then transfer. It's the only way to get down to Chinatown. Especially at this hour. You were lying. Listen, so you're not really my old partner. From what I just learned, that's a good thing. She's out there doing God knows what. You're here trying to take her down. In terms of the big picture, nothing has changed. Our goal remains the same. Assuming you are still with us. That's what we'd like to hear. So, what should we call you? Yeah, we can't keep calling you by the same name. Very well. It will be an adjustment, but we will abide by your choice. We're ready to go when you are. What do you think, KK? <laughs> what? What did she say? Oh, uh... Mm-hmm. Something smells good. I am envious. I smell... Sit where you want. I'll be right with you. So, what? You want to waste my time instead? It's a free country, I guess. You wanna eat something? I'm here. Yes? Yes. We will... Uh-huh. Eh, the food's okay. I mostly come for wing. But Cook, she's good company. <laughs> See what I mean? She's kept this place going for 30 years. Figure she must be doing something right. You're just saying that because I let you smoke. Well, that too. Uh-huh. Nice to meet you, I guess. Now, do you mind? I'm trying to eat here. Eh, whatever. Hey, you guys need anything? Hey, looking's free. You want to do anything else? I'm here. Like they say, it could be you. If you want to give it a try, let me know. I've met too many addicts who have lost their life savings playing the lotto. Gotta be careful with that stuff. Hey man, I hear you. If I see anyone with an obvious problem, I send them on their way. That's... that's good of you. But it just means they'll go somewhere else. Not every time. No, you're right. Not every time. Doug Wang. Nice to meet you guys. Kinda. It's my dad's store, technically. I fill in sometimes. Of course, he's pushing 70 these days, so it's more often than it used to be. Back at ya. That's the prison... What can I do for you? This is the tombs, lady. Weird is our bread and butter. You're gonna have to be a bit more specific. I didn't say that. I just said you need to be more specific. Yeah, see you.
That was it? The food here must have made quite an impression for your brain to remember it. We know your other self was here. That's something. But hey, something's always better than nothing. Perhaps. It depends entirely on what that something is. Yes. Onward. I cannot reach it from down here. There is something in here. Some kind of paper. So what is it? See for yourself. It's a lottery ticket? So she's a gambler now. Is that it? Perhaps. But this ticket was deliberately dropped. Yeah. No gambling addict I ever met would do that. We know more than we did before, at any rate. Let us press on. You do not imbibe alcohol. It... Hey, looks like you brought a lotto ticket from us. Is there a problem? Sure, I can do that. The paper looks a bit weather-worn, but the barcode should work. Huh? That's impossible. No way! Here, take it back. Is there a problem? No, but Kevin Huang bought this ticket. You heard about him, right? And the stuff that happened at the Dragon Tree? They said that Kevin Huang killed his parents. Shot them, I think. That's what they're saying, but I never believed it. And why is that? Because I know Kevin. I know his whole family. He wouldn't do anything, so... He just wouldn't do it is all. Well, yeah, the Huangs run the Dragon Tree restaurant. Or, um, ran it, I mean. Our families did business together for like 50 years. Mr. Huang bought all his raw ingredients from us. I don't want to brag, but we're the reason the restaurant was so popular. But I practically grew up with Kevin. He wouldn't do this. I, I didn't believe it then. I don't believe it now. Because he adores his mom and dad. He practically worships them. Plus, he's a colossal wimp. He's ten times smarter than me, but the kid wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone his parents. Back at ya. Jesus, a winning lottery ticket. Indeed, for the $50,000 jackpot. A shame we cannot keep it. Thank God. This is how gambling addictions get started. There is that. And it would also attract... attention. Yeah, I get it. It would be... difficult. Almost impossible. It would require seeing the future or altering the laws of chance. But we are making too many assumptions. We need to learn why this ticket was purchased in the first place. For real? It is the truth. But that's Kevin's ticket, right? I mean, I checked the system. He definitely bought it. That is also the truth. Right. The ticket's registered to Kevin, not you. So don't even think about cashing it in. Don't worry, man. As far as I'm concerned, that ticket's a loaded gun. Hmm. Okay, then. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, does it? I mean, who the hell does that? Win the lottery and then commit murder? That's crazy. I've seen crazier. Believe me. It doesn't matter. I knew it. Kevin's innocent. Whatever you guys are doing, keep doing it. Back at ya. the lottery. No big deal. No big deal? It saved your ass. I'll kick your ass. Shut up. I had some debts. Figured what the hell. So I bought a ticket. How much money did you want? 50 grand. It was enough. 
You want to eat something or what? It was a nice place. Nicer than here. They didn't deserve what happened. Stuff I don't want to talk about while people are eating. What's there to say? It was almost a decade ago. You're gonna look or you're gonna order something. <laughs> Those guys think they know everything. I've been here for 20 years. Nobody's died yet. Nobody that you know of. This guy thinks he's so funny. If you die here, it'll be because I strangle you. You wanna eat something? I'm here. Uh-huh. I don't know much. It wasn't my case. Your case? So you are a police officer? Huh. Yeah, you got me. Detective Sam Durkin, Midtown South. So you must know what happened there. Nothing I can tell you. It wasn't my case, so it wasn't my problem. Not much. I know he's locked up in the tombs for killing his parents. From what I hear, the case is open and shut. Yeah, it was a while ago. Ten, maybe fifteen years. Lucky break. We got her out of a bind. What kind of bind? Ain't my place to say. Like I said, not my case, not my problem. Eh, whatever. Hey again! Who doesn't? It's not exactly a secret. The couple that runs the place was shot to death by their kid. It's insane, right? The Dragon Tree has been around for 60 years. Now this happens. Shame. The pecking duck was kind of amazing. Is there anything else you can tell us? Um, just why are you asking? We are investigating what occurred. Under whose authority? Our own. Sorry, the case is closed as far as the cops are concerned. Yeah, he's here. May we talk to him? Are any of you on the approved visitor list? I do not believe so. Kevin is... Look, I don't know all the details, but his files say he's under special observation due to psychological problems. His visitors are closely monitored. You need to be on an approved list before you can see him. Sorry. Well, if you like, I can submit a request. It needs to be approved by the psych eval board. How long does that take? Three to four weeks, usually. The only way is to have a ranking officer vouch for you. Ranking meaning detective or higher. Otherwise, I can't help you. Yeah, see you. Could be you, I guess. You ask me, you wasted your money. <laughs> Good luck, I guess. Uh huh. So, go and speak to him. That is not currently possible. We require special authorization. So, go get it. The vetting process only takes a couple of weeks. The need is quite urgent, and our request could get rejected. What do you want me to do? Just give you authorization right here and now? I barely know you guys. Unless you can give me good reason why you need to see the kid, then I can't help you. He did, huh? Yes. He won $50,000. That's not chump change, I'll say that much. Indeed. He wins prize money, and then commits murder. Why? I don't see what this has to do with me. This is new evidence. We need to question Kevin Huang about it. We? There's no we here. There's not even a me. This isn't my case. The case is closed. Him winning the lottery doesn't have to do with anything. Sorry, I can't help you. You mean Wing and Kevin? Looks like it. Lucky. Yeah, I don't trust that kind of luck. They won ten years apart from each other. Can you tell me they're related? Look, I'm in the program. I've met tons of guys who throw thousands of dollars at lottery tickets. They all hope for the big payout, but it never comes. Not for a single one of them. And now I meet two from the same block? Come on. I don't see the problem here. 
You are lying, detective. Excuse me? I spoke clearly enough. You are lying. You do see the problem here. And I believe it concerns you greatly. What I believe is that you should quit while you're ahead. Look, we don't want any trouble. We're here to help. Help? Ha! I did nothing wrong. You are telling the truth. Does anybody else know that Kevin bought that lottery ticket? Damn it. But I suppose it doesn't matter who knows. You came to this conclusion. Somebody else will too. Without a doubt. It would be best if we got to the bottom of the mystery before that happens. And you can do that by talking to Kevin? We can try. <sighs> Nothing's ever straightforward, is it? Okay, I'll call the tunes. Tell them you're clear to talk to Kevin. But if you blab to the press, or the lotto board, or anyone... We will tell nobody. And that is the truth. Fine. Now get out of here. Hey, um, so I just got a weird phone call. I don't know who you guys are or how you pulled that off, but Kevin's yours if you want to talk to him. Like I said, the case is closed. As far as the department is concerned, there's nothing to tell. You've got authorization, so I guess it's okay. I'll go fetch him. Yeah? No. No! Not you! Help? Help? You come here to gloat? Is that it? What do you want? You think? You think? I don't believe this. Officer Chan! It's her! It's her! Huh? The one I told you about! The lady that killed my parents! It's your fault. This is all your fault. I can't put her back. Put her back? The dragon! Kevin, calm down. You promised. This is the one. Investigate her. The dragon needs to be put back. Right. That's enough. You don't understand. Move it, Kevin. This isn't over. <sighs> okay, he's cooling off in his cell. You see what I was telling you? Dragons, for its sake. Only what's in the report, it happened after hours. A neighborhood gunshot, so they called the cops. They found Mr. and Mrs. Huang dead on the floor of the restaurant, shot at point-blank range. Kevin was standing in the corner holding a gun and muttering to himself. The bullets found in the bodies matched the gun. Kevin didn't even resist when they arrested him. If he was innocent, you'd think he would have said something at the time. And that's all you've got? And that's all I got, aside from his personal effects. Well, there wasn't much. According to his file, he just had his wallet on him. No money inside. Just a credit card, which we've got in lockup. Oh, and some papers were folded up in there too. Seemed like nothing, but we scanned them anyway. Receiver and all. May we see them? I mean, I guess so. It's just a receipt and a bunch of gibberish, but whatever. It takes like five seconds to print out. Here you go. Yeah, just a few days before the murders took place. He used his dad's credit card to buy some stuff. But everyone around here shops at that place. It's not like it means anything. Yeah, see you. appears to have unlocked the door. It appears this was the scene of the murder. We don't see any ghosts. That's something at least. Not getting any vibes either. If anyone's haunting this place, 
but keeping nice and quiet. It seems the Huang family lived above their place of business. Convenient. Yeah, I see it too, KK. The numbers don't match. It seems to be a book of Asian myths and legends. It appears quite extensive. That's one word for it. This is one of the biggest books I've ever seen. There is an index at the back if you desire to look up something specific. Ah, well. Such simple solutions are welcome, but rarely offered. Is that a greenhouse? Yes, it appears... This place is flourishing. And is that a banana tree? Quite impressive. It is no small feat to keep a banana tree alive in New York's climate. A list of names. Quite an extensive one. Look, the dates go all the way back to the 20s. And the most recent name is Kevin, preceded by... Wing? The cook? She did seem like she was hiding something. I detected no falsehood from her. But it seems she has more to tell. Whatever our business... What? That is still there? The parchment is over a century old. Yes, it is still there. Huh. Why what? You are deflecting. You know what we asked. It's something to do with the lottery, isn't it? That's crazy. You crazy. You think I won the lottery by writing my name down on an old piece of paper? That is what we are asking. <sighs> my husband, he died. He had debts. Debts I couldn't pay. Even Hyung offered to help. I didn't ask for it. He offered. He offered what? No, no. It's done. It's over. I don't want to talk about it. If you want to deal with the bad gal Hui, that's up to you. I said, I don't want to talk about it. You guys bothering you? Yes, they're bothering me. It's your fault they're bothering me. Right, forget it. Idiot. Stuff I don't want to talk about while people are eating. You want to eat something? I'm here. Hey, you guys need anything? Yeah, Kevin bought some stuff and he used his dad's card. What am I looking at here? Both documents list two different amounts of money. Oh, must be some kind of error. Mr. Huang will have to call the credit card company and get them to sort it out. Jesus, what am I saying? Sorry, was there a point to this? What? No, not that I know of. We found a note written by the Elder Huang. It says Kevin purchased an herb from you. Well, he's wrong. You are lying, Doug. What? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Now, look. Just be honest with us. It's best in the long run, believe me. 
Whatever. If you think I'm lying, prove it. Tell us the truth this time. Your skill at falsehood is lacking. Seriously, being honest is cleaner and quicker. None of you are cops, are you? You gotta say if you are, that's the rule, right? No, none of us are cops. Okay, fine. Yes, you got me. Kevin bought some hibiscus roux from me. Hibiscus roux? I am familiar with it. Where is it? It's not on any of the shelves. It's not exactly legal. Ah, uh, you run a black market. No, Jesus, no. It, it's harmless. Really, it just puts you to sleep. Yeah, like nobody ever got addicted to sleeping pills before. Hey, you wanted honesty, you got it. Do you want some? 20 bucks for two doses. Sure, that'll be 20 bucks. Just dissolve half of it in hot water, it'll knock you straight out. The banana ghost? Some kind of old legend, right? Kevin used to be into all that stuff. Not me though, sorry. Back at ya. Have you decided what you want to look up? Wait. The book specifically mentioned a sleeping potion. We should try and find out more about it before we continue. If you want to make tea, it is more effective to use hot water. Reasons are complicated. Don't think I don't know what you're doing. I saw you buy something from Mr. Wayne. Do I tell Detective Durkin what you've got stashed in your pocket? Hmm? <sighs> Forget it. You have a cup? Give it to me. Whatever you're doing, just be careful. You wanna eat something? I'm here. I believe we have performed all of the instructions. Are you ready?
We will remain on guard. If you need us, shout. I don't think she'll be doing much shouting. following you guys around for like a week. I'm still a ghost. Ooh. We're in a land of dead things. Kinda. You're sort of... between? Not the land of the dead, but not the physical world either. That means you can see ghosts and spirits, like me. To the land of the living? I don't know. I'm not sure there is a way back. At least, there isn't a way back for me. Maybe it's different for you. I don't know. Find a way back to the living world, I guess. You're alive, so you don't belong here. Not yet, anyway. After you fell asleep, ghosts started appearing everywhere. They went nuts! Went and everything. Tables started shaking, knives started flying, it was kinda cool. But Logan and me went to work. We got him calmed down, finally. Still, whatever is going on here, the ghosts don't like it. He's out in the hallway. The door locked itself while you were sleeping. It's stuck solid. Even Mandana's sword won't open it. So, I got to rescue you. Okay. Logan, I saved her. The dragon was like, Rrr, and she was like, ah, and then I was like, whoosh. Duh, yeah, there was a dragon. 
Looks different than the ones in Trollgate. Kind of disappointing. What do you mean you can't see her? Um, Logan says he can't see you. Can you see him or Mondana? Huh. Right. Okay. Well, we don't know what's going on, but we'll figure this out. Promise. Come on, Logan. She's going downstairs. You appeared out of thin air. KK says you, what? Touch the pot? The pot? There's nothing remarkable about it. Sure is shiny, though. Yes. Mages of old would often use mirrors and reflective surfaces to aid in transferring dimensions. That appears to be the case here. Whomever created the banana tree ritual also created an alternate route home. Quite sensible. Yes, we will talk soon, I am sure. That guard is totally freaking out. Really, Logan? You look tired. Could you try not to piss off the cop? How about you and Mondana just wait outside? We'll take it from here. Dude, we'll be fine. I'll take care of her. Don't worry. I mean, I take care of you, don't I? Hmm. Logan's such a baby. I don't know what he'd do without me. Woo! It's jailbreak time! Just like in Jail of the Gothanites! The Trollgate quest where the Gothanites are held prisoner in the Whittakin mine? <sighs> Never mind. This is when Logan usually tells me to close my eyes. I don't do it, but still. Uh -huh. Yeah, I just got off shift. I'm just waiting for the rain to ease up a bit. Ah, oh, gross! Oh, I am not getting blamed for this. again. Poor guy. He looks miserable. Quick, touch that mirror and scare the crap out of him. Ah! What 
the hell? How did you... Why? So you can finish the job? You know what? Go right ahead. My life is over anyway. I don't even care anymore. Why should I believe anything you say? The damage is done. I can't sleep. The dragon haunts my dreams. It screams! And won't leave me alone. Not now. Not ever. Of course it does. It's trapped. It can't go anywhere. But I can't do anything. Not from in here. Set me free? Are you serious? You're serious, aren't you? You put me in here, and now you want to break me out? Why now? After all this time, I don't understand. But maybe I don't need to. Look, if you can get me out of here, help me send the dragon back home, end these nightmares, then fine, do whatever you have to. Okay. The guard down the hall has a key to the cell. He's opened it a few times. But I couldn't tell you how to get it away from him. Leland? He's an asshole. Whatever you do to him, he'll have it coming. Believe me. You mean, distract him? Sure, I can do that. I mean, I think I can. The guy doesn't need much of an excuse to be an asshole to me. I might as well give him one. Okay. You ready to go? Kid, if it's too hot in there, maybe try sleeping without a blanket. No, that's not what I meant. I, I mean... You know what, kid? I'm done. You can freeze, or sweat, or both. It's not my problem. That's it. Quick. That's it. Quick. Unlock the door. You did it. So what now? Um, no. I can't disappear like you can. Look at what I'm wearing. I can't just walk out of here dressed like this. Can you get me some new clothes? Anything will work. Anything but this ugly orange prison uniform. Right. It's a bit small, but it should do fine. Thanks. Still need to do something about these pads, though. Okay, those are kind of my size. That should work. Okay. He got me a full uniform, but I need a cap to go with it. Can you find one? It'll go a long way in covering my face. Perfect. Thanks. Okay. I think that's everything I need. Could you, um, turn around for a sec? Okay. Give me a minute. Okay. Here I go. And, um... Thanks, I guess. You too, Randy? Yeah, took it right off the bench. I was only gone for a few minutes. They took it right out of my locker. Who the hell does that? You sure? 
Nothing of yours is missing, son? Not that I know of. Huh. Yeah, huh. It's about time. Let's go. the power is wearing off. Oh well, it's been fun. See ya when you die! Ah! Jesus, KK! Don't do that! Everything go okay in there? Feeling weird after drinking something strange? Gee, I have no idea what that's like. Anyway... Mondana went with Kevin to the restaurant. We should meet him there. Right behind you. Good. You have returned. So, is the dragon gone? Um, not yet. I was hoping you could come with me. I don't want to face it alone. I don't know. Maybe? In my dreams, the dragon is so... angry. In all my dad's stories, it was never angry. I'm... scared. Anyway, I'll meet you on the roof. Yeah. Kevin? Something wrong? What happens... after? Do I go back to jail? Go on the run? That will not happen. We will put a veil on you. It disguises your identity. You will be safe. Oh, that's good, I guess. Kevin? Yeah. Sorry, I was just remembering. My mom was always making me study cookbooks, making me memorize old family recipes. Then my dad would drill me in the kitchen. You always hate that stuff as a kid. But right now, I miss it. More than anything. Kevin Wong, you have come at last. Yeah, well, I've barely slept for months thanks to you. And I have not eaten. I wish to go home. Yeah, home. I am waiting, Kevin Wong. Fulfill your family duty. Not yet. I want something. Another winning lottery number. Dude, come on. You overstep yourself, Kevin Wong. And none of the usual five-figure stuff either. I'm talking the Mega Million Jackpot. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I don't care. We possess your original lottery ticket, Kevin. Your winning lottery ticket. It's not enough. It's not nearly enough. $50,000 is plenty. Yeah, man. That's more than enough to start a new life. I don't want a new life. This restaurant belongs to my family. It should stay in my family. The bank repossessed this place. I need to buy it back before someone else does. 50000 won't cut it. Do this for me, dragon. Do this, and I will burn the banana tree. Nobody will ever summon you again. Will I? No. The effort involved. The mental strain. It might kill me. It might, but might not. Please, Kevin Huang, let me go! Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hearing ethical advice from the person who murdered my family? You're the one who took it all away. You can help me get it back. You owe this to me. And how are you going to do that? It's not like you can stop me. Only I have the power to send the dragon back. 
Wait, what? You, you just let the cops throw me back in jail? You can't. That's not right. I didn't do anything. Not yet, you haven't. Please, please. Some corporate chain is going to buy this place. They'll destroy it. Turn it into a plastic boutique or a condo. My family would have died for nothing. You can't let that happen. Please, don't do this. Okay. Okay. Kevin Hong, I am still waiting. You can go. I release you. Thank you. I... I'm sorry. I had to try. You understand? For mom and dad. I understand. I recently lost a father too. But this is not the way. Yeah, you're right. I get that. I... always did like this view. I thought I'd be looking at it forever. Okay, I'm ready. Forty, maybe fifty. I beg your pardon. Hey, KK couldn't stop talking about your little jailbreak last night, especially the part where you were sneaking around the men's locker room. Hey, I ain't judging. You did what had to be done. Sure, we'll chat later. Ah, uh, hello. I was just processing the events of last night. The veil placed on Kevin should hold for at least 10 years. By then, the police will have long since given up searching for him. Thank you. Oh, hi. Sorry, I was a bit distracted. Thanks, by the way, for bringing Madonna out to Chinatown. I think the distraction did her good. Right. See you around. So, dragons exist. One day I might have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a freaking dragon? I kinda get where Kevin was coming from. Heck, cop family going back a century here. It's who we are. And being the broken link in that chain? It hurts. Hurts like hell. It's like a hundred years of Santina's accursing me. So Kevin is angry. And bitter. He might not get over it anytime soon, but he'll be okay. Eventually. Look, I get it. Things are crazy and you don't know which end is up. You want to have a meltdown and drink yourself stupid. And when this is done, feel free to do that. I'll even join you. Hell, I'll buy the first round. But right now, we need you focused. I need you focused. Okay? Okay. Right. Catch you later, partner. Yeah, KK. I agree. We shouldn't sit this one out. Agreed. This is not the time to splinter our forces. Well, here's our stop. Let's get moving. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. We can open this up whenever we want. So, what's on the other side of that thing? It is impossible to say. It could be anything. It could be nothing. Pocket realms can completely ignore the laws of nature, or invent new ones entirely. So, be prepared for anything. Yes, it is time. Eli, shall we open it together? All right. On three. One, two, three. Um... Did something go wrong? I think so. Yeah, we definitely went through. I, I felt it. So did I. Something is different.
Um, holy shit. We're... we're not in New York anymore, are we? No. We made it into the pocket realm. It is a... twisted version of our city. That building! Look at the energy pouring out of it. That must be where our quarry lies. Um, are you alright? Okay, she's back. Everyone relax. You blacked out for a minute. You started chanting. What happened? A spell? What kind of spell? It sounded like a spell of summoning. Whatever it is, maybe turn the other way the next time you cast it. Just listen to that creaking. The gap is wide, but not entirely insurmountable. I will just get some distance. Are you sure about this? I am not. Are you all right? I will... manage. Whew. Glad to be on solid ground again. Not that anything in this place can be called solid. Where are we, anyway? Everything's boarded up. Did anyone live here? Um... How do we end up back here? I don't remember doubling back. No, we most definitely did not. Is that... Yes, it is you. I hear you across the void. What is it you need? Of course, I owe you my life, and possibly my soul. What is it you need? Someone created that maze, correct? Then I should be able to read it. Yes, I believe I can help you. Bring me over. This place, it's strange, and yet it makes sense. There was a guiding force, a reason for it all. And what reason is that? This maze has no solution. It's a trap. Hmm. There should be a way. Let me see here. Have you tried pressing that button? Button? What button? Ah, I see. This map was deliberately designed to hide the button. See? It's quite obvious when you know it's there. Oh, you are welcome. More than welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Prospect Park Writers Group begins in ten minutes, and they're expecting me. That's, um, big. Not to mention cold. I should have packed a warmer jacket. Um, that gate is several feet thick. This is gonna be difficult. Difficult, but not impossible. No, not impossible. I can do it, but it'll drain me, like, a lot. But if there's no other way, well, just say the word. 
Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Stand back, everyone. This could take some time. <sighs> oh boy. Eli, you are fatigued. You should rest. You just pushed a steel girder weighing several hundred pounds. Are you resting? No, you are correct. Right. Gotta press on. I'll be okay. My dad's got a weed whacker in his garage. Never thought to bring it along. These thorns will quickly make short of any- The thorns are fierce, but not invincible. With effort, I can cut a path through. You sure about that? Those thorns are pretty... big. I can withstand the pain. For a while. There's gotta be another way. Know that I prefer not to do this. But if there is no other option... Well, I know my duty. I feared as much. Yet, I see the truth of it. Stay close. Mandana, are you alright? I am not. Leave me. I will be fine. Are you sure? Yes. I heal quickly. Go. Okay, Mandana. We'll leave. But we'll pick you up on the way back, okay? Okay? Right. Huh? Who is it, Logan? It's... a police officer? Kind of obese? Holy shit. Franco Marino? Yes. That was my name. Vicky Santina? Is that you? My name is... Alana Loris. Where am I? This is crazy. Guys, listen. This is all... You just have to listen. Geist! They're going Geist! Stop them, Logan! I'm trying. Come on, guys. Just calm down. Calm down. Ghost passed on. They're at peace. This place. First it freezes you, then it tries to roast you. Mm. Master, is that you? I can hear you, kind of. Where are you? You mean... Transfer me across the void again? It wasn't a pleasant experience, but I do owe you for helping me. So yes, I'll help you. Just the once. What do you need? Sorry, did you say lava? Bring me over. Let me see what I can do. I've learned some things. Things about my new body. You remember how much pain I was in when you met me? I thought it was the fire that was hurting me. Turns out I was just starving. My body consumes heat, which means... Wow. <coughs> oh, man. That'll keep me full for a month. Anyway, it's probably best that I go back now. I don't know what this place is, but it... hurts. Bye, Jordan. And, uh... Good luck with everything.
Huh. Looks tough, but pretty shoddy material. Five or six shots ought to do it. Demon Swamp. Without a doubt. It says it is not a demon. When it speaks, it lies. Like all of its kind. Uh, what the hell are you guys? We met one of them just before you signed up. I called it a ligamental. Ligamental? Yeah, yeah, that fits. A beacon was born, leading the way to this world. We followed it. Don't look at me. I wouldn't make that same mistake twice. It tries magic. Easily countered. What a vile thing. What are we waiting for? We are all starving. Attack! How many of you are there? Oh boy. Stop! Please! There is no need for slaughter. Not this night. Yes, it has been a while. This one showed me mercy I did not deserve. That kindness should be repaid just this once. You vouch for it? Yes. Then that will have to be sufficient. We owe each other nothing, Demon Spawn. You have been given a reprieve. I suggest you complete your business here as soon as possible. finally made it. You had to leave some of your friends behind, but you made it. No place else? You have no idea. This is my world. You're only here because I want you here. Think about it. I lit up my stronghold like a Christmas tree. I literally told you where to go. It would have taken you years to find me. If you ever found me at all. Don't get too cocky. The top of the Empire State Building ain't exactly subtle. Ah, eh, we're all New Yorkers here. How often do you even notice the Empire State Building, let alone go up there? I was wrong, Melkaressa. Wrong to leave you in the dark the way I did. We should have worked together. We should have been partners. Yeah. Partners. I know firsthand how you treat partners. I thought I could do it all on my own, but I can't. I need your help. The knowledge that you contain. Merge with me again. Willingly this time. We'll be equals. And we can build this world together. You're joking. You've got to be joking. I'm all for second chances, but this takes it a bit far. No. No way. No fucking way. Who are you to judge me? I share your memories. I know everything you've done. You let that fire elemental go. He torched an entire homeless shelter. And General Zarag of the Merfolk? He slaughtered dozens of people. You barely gave him a slap on the wrist. You wished Glen of the North Woods to death out of petty revenge. You killed Robin Goodfellow, a high-ranking member of the Winter Court. Sparking a war that will last centuries. And what about Stan Bates? He brainwashed people into killing themselves, including a little girl. And he's walking around free. Sometimes you showed mercy. Sometimes you gleefully executed anyone who crossed your path. Lives were saved or snuffed out based on your wins. So don't get all self-righteous with me. That whole world is a mess, Melkaressa. That's why I want to create another one. But this time, it's going to be done right. So help me, Melkaressa. Please. Yeah, fuck this. Good people are dead because of you. I spent a year thinking I was going crazy. You killed a cop, you killed kids, 
And you did that without help from a magic book. Not to mention you were my partner. You were supposed to have my back. But aren't you in a better place, Vicky? You're making a real difference now. More than you ever made as a cop. This isn't about me. It's about justice. Look, you can't run from this. You killed people. And that's not even the worst of it. You didn't just take people's lives. You twisted their souls. Made them into something nasty and dangerous. You mean those idiots in the Bronx? They were people. Listen, what you've done is supernatural slaughter on a citywide scale. Even Alden limited himself to small villages. Alden destroyed for its own sake. I'm not so stupid. No, you might be worse. Alden never pretended it was for a greater cause. You were human once. You can be again. Just come with us. Make it right. Why am I even talking to you? This is between me and Mel Caressa. The peanut gallery can shut up now. Relax, they're just asleep. I may not have much power now, but I can do that at least. Besides, this is between you and me. So how about it? Will you merge with me willingly or not? Well, sort of. I mean, the energy to create this place has to come from somewhere. I created several pools of energy in the mundane world. They worked beautifully, too. Until you cut them off. So, before we do anything else, we'll need to make some more. Now, that's what I've been waiting to hear. That's better. Much better than before. How do you feel, Mel Caressa? Well, that's true. I find that I do not want to kill them anymore. Perhaps that's your influence. But we still have work to do in the mundane world. We don't want them getting in our way, trying to stop us. I know. We'll keep them asleep until we're finished. This is our world. Nothing bad will happen to them unless we wish it. Satisfied? Good. So, we have a lot of work to do, don't we? Where should we begin? You might be right. And, yes, I see how we can create that, too. It won't be easy, it won't be quick, but it will require power, and lots of it. Let's go get some, shall we? Sure? You won't reconsider? Remember, I can and I will take that body back by force. Are you sure? You think you can resist me? Well, I'm warning you again. You can't. Last chance, Mel Caressa. I really, really hoped it wouldn't come to this. Sleep, Melcaressa. I'll call you when I need you. That's better. Oh man, I am starving. When's the last time you fed me? But first... Goodbye, Eli. Your self-indulgent introspection will be missed by nobody. The last time I tried to kill you, Vicky, I missed. Not this time. Bye-bye, Logan. Six years of meetings led you here, huh? Was it worth it? <laughs> Whatever, I don't care. So long, Aunt Donna. Say hi to your dad for me.
Wake up, Melcaressa. I have a question. I was thinking of heading to Queens. Is there anything I should keep an eye out for? Huh. Now that is interesting. Yeah, I can work with this. Well, I'm waiting. Take all the time you want. I'm not going anywhere, and neither are you. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, just wait. This is crazy. Why would you do this? You've got that all wrong. You're in a human body! You'll die a human death! Is that what you really want, Mount Caressa? No! No, I'm not! You're human now! You could become a ghost! A, a helpless, mewling ghost! And so would I! I won't let that happen! I can't let that happen! What? what? Tell, Tell me. me. You mean... No, no. 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 There, has there has to be another way. way. All, all my knowledge, knowledge, all the power that sustains this world, world, it comes from you. you. If you're you gone... gone. Fine. Fine. Fine! Fine! You win, Elcaressa. You're free. You're free! I release you! Go back into the darkness where you came from. You people. What happened? I no longer sense Melcaressa's presence. Melcaressa's gone. Now get out of my way. Ah. Donnie, it's me. Have I got a caller for you? With no powers and no veil, she didn't have a chance. The evidence was overwhelming. The trial took weeks. The press had a field day. But in the end, the jury took 10 minutes. Multiple life sentences with no possibility of parole. Donnie's been on TV every day talking about the case. He's basically super cop now, and that's fine. The kid deserves it, and I get to lord it over him, which is what being a big sister is all about. I got a call from Harrison not long ago. She was in the hospital. She wanted me to kill her. She was in so much pain she could barely move. The usual medications weren't working. The docs were clueless. Turns out, the general got a mortal wound in battle. A wound so bad that Harrison could feel it over their link. I didn't kill her. She can do her own dirty work for once. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, just, just wait. wait! This is crazy! Why would you do this? No! You've ruined everything! It could have been so perfect! Was it worth it? Was it all worth dying over? Did we win? The portal. It is gone. But where is Melcarissa? What? S slow down, KK. Oh. 
What did she say? Logan, what did she say? They found the body in Midtown, right by the Empire State Building. Nobody knows how she got there. She just appeared, probably for the best. A whole lot of murder cases got closed, made a lot of cops happy. I got a call from Harrison not long ago. She was in the hospital. She wanted me to kill her. She was in so much pain she could barely move. The usual medications weren't working. The docs were clueless. Turns out, the general got a mortal wound in battle. A wound so bad that Harrison could feel it over their link. I didn't kill her. She can do her own dirty work for once. So we finally got a computer. Although Logan and KK use it to play their game most of the time. But it turns out, Travis and Winnie Cook have a very active social media profile. They're back in Florida. They seem happy if the pictures are anything to go by. And speaking of pictures, they post lots of Elijah. Sometimes a dozen every day. It hurts being away from family. But this makes it better, somehow. I suppose I can live with that. I went to a meeting in Chinatown not long ago. Decided to stop in at the Dragon Tree. Turns out it's a drugstore now. One of those national chain things. Kevin moved upstate. Rented himself a place with the money he got from his lottery winnings. But 50 grand doesn't last as long as it used to. He's working as a short order cook at a local diner. From what I hear, he's made the joint very popular. Might be running the place before too long. I hope it works out for him. A mania has gripped Brooklyn. A troop of performers have remained on the Prospect Park band shelf for weeks, refusing to leave. Several groups of graffiti artists have been painting every wall available, becoming violent and asked to stop. Writers, playwrights, and creative types of all sorts have been arrested for causing civil unrest. They all have one thing in common. They belong to an art collective led by Stanley Bates. I went to confront him, but he is no longer living there. We shall find him, and deal with him, one day. As for Melchorissa, we do not know. It is tempting to use the summoning ritual, but to perform it requires a death. And that is a line we will not cross. Melchorissa sacrificed enough saving us all. Honoring that sacrifice is literally the least we could do. So we venture on. Enemies are defeated. Wrongs are righted. And the wall against the darkness holds for yet another day. That was... an interesting one. No kidding. They ate the radiator. Who eats a radiator? Gremlins are the worst, huh? All I know is Mitch will never let me borrow his car again. Hey, you guys hungry? There's a new Thai place down that way. Is it spicy? Probably. Why? Eli has trouble digesting spicy food. Seriously? Beckett, I've seen you drink lava. Believe it or not, lava isn't that spicy. I am Ula. I come across the void in search of conquest. Stand down, creature. We will show no mercy. What she said, just with more char broiling. Nice. I've got those new polymer copper bullets. Been meaning to test them out. Guys, when you kill him, could you make sure there's no ghost left behind? I'm tired 